I'm the best ever. I'm the most brutal and vicious and most ruthless champion there's ever been. No one can stop me. I'm the best ever. You are watching a master at work. Yo, man, we are back again, man. I told you we weren't going to stop, man. We're going to keep going. Keep more going. life, more blessings. So I was at this I was at this art gallery last week, man. And I was in there. I'm like, damn, who's making all of this art? And a uh, dude pulled, pulled me to the side like, yo, it's that dude right there. So I went to go talk to him, find out. His name is Cloud. He's right here. We got him on the show with us, man. Welcome. Yo. How you feeling? Feeling a little good. It's, a, um, it's my first podcast. Okay. So okay. It's, it's kind of new, but yeah. it's a good experience and everything. I appreciate both of y'all for letting me yeah, come out there. Definitely, man. Talk yeah, man. Life. I'm telling you, man, when I, I, I was at the show, and I'm, you know, I've been trying to get like real deep into art lately, so I'm, I'm, I'm there, and I'm like, yo, you got art in each room. It's like, mind you people, it's like three different rooms in there. And large, large walls, and he have like at least like four or five paintings on each wall. Like it, it was, it was insane. Then he had this one huge ass, this huge ass like art artwork that he had. It was like a, was it Saint Laurent? Yeah, it was a Saint Laurent poster. Yo, tell me about yo, tell me about that one. Okay, so um, I went to Art Basel in Miami this past yeah. December. It's like this big art scene that goes on mm -hmm. once a year. It was my first time out, and uh, I was with. My photographer Thomas and another one of my friends Wes, and was walking down Winwood. Yeah. And because we had got lost, so we were trying to find a car. Um, <laughs> but we was like just walking, walking. And then I seen um, the poster. I'm like, you know, that'd be fine to do art on. So I just looked at it and I just tore it down. You just took and it? I just took it. Because wow. like we was walking and um, other people was like just doing random graffiti. Yeah. They weren't like doing nothing like unique on it. Mm -hmm. So I'm like, yo, that'd be dope if I took that and did some, some stuff on it. And that's like everybody's favorite piece, like everyone's yo, that, favorite. Yo, yo, that that shit right there, like I, I know I took hella photos <laughs> around it, yeah, man. Everybody, that was that was like the main. I remember like that was like the main piece, like everybody wanted to take pictures right there. And then it was like another picture that was like in the hallway almost. It was like it was like I want to say it was Michael Jordan's legs with the, he had oh yeah yeah on. yeah. That's my um my cement three okay. piece. Um, cement three. Jordans are my those are my favorite Jordans. Whatever. Okay, okay. I still got the ones, um, yeah, I still got the ones I've been having for a long time since high school. They busted like the solo came out, mm -hmm. but I still love them because like I, it was like really like the first shoes I bought with my own money. Okay, like, Facts, McDonald's. Man. So it's just like, nah, those shoes got some special, yeah, special, special memory. Meaning it. Yeah, special meaning, and I was like, I ain't really probably never get rid of them, whatever. But yeah, they busted the solo, busted whatever. But um, with that piece, it was like, um, just to try to show people, you know, I can direct myself to different attention or like I can make it cultural about yeah. other things and stuff. So yeah, yeah everybody loves Michael Jordan. Yeah, and everybody loves Michael Jordan. Loved Jordan yeah, so I was Jordan. like, no, let me do that real quick and I added my unique style on it. Okay. So. okay. Yeah, I don't, I don't want to start no controversy, but you you a big sports fan? Like basketball? I'm a huge sports fan. Hey man, look, I don't I don't <laughs> I, I gotta I gotta bring this discussion up, man. What's up? Out of you know, you got Jordan, you got LeBron, you got Kobe, man. Give me a one, two and three. I got. I gotta hear that before we keep going, man. One, two, three. Yeah, I'm Kobe. Kobe, Jordan, and LeBron. Okay. Okay. Kobe, okay. Jordan, LeBron. I'm gonna tell you why. Cause Jordan. Cause this real Jordan. Jordan has. You gotta look outside from basketball. What he's done for like yeah. shoes. Yeah. The culture. And like culture wise, yeah. like you got people in overseas who know who Jordan is, yeah. and it's like so you gotta put him in the middle. With Kobe, yeah. I grew up more with Kobe. I was yeah, born definitely. in '94. So like you know you got the early 2000s you got the Lakers yeah, and Shaq and all that that's what I grew up watching mm -hmm. so like that's automatically I like him before him and then you got LeBron yeah. it's like who I am now that's my adult that's my adult go yeah. era right there so it's just like okay I know who LeBron is so he's automatically in that category but that's how yeah. I, I place it okay cool man I don't know no, man no. I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to <laughs> say oh man I don't know man I, I saw a lot of controversy when I when I say <laughs> things I like did man but I don't know I, I put Kobe first yeah. But you put LeBron before, I mean. But LeBron is definitely going before Jordan, simply because it is. He just, he changed he changed the culture, like, politically, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. As well as uh, within the game. And also, man, he was the A&R, man. Yeah, he's the A&R. Uh, uh, when the 2 Chainz yeah. album, rapper go, to, rapper go to the league. Hey, like, that's dope, by the way. Yeah, man. Shout like, out 2 Chainz, by the way. He got a lot. Yeah, the album's dope, man. The album's, the album's dope. dope. But, but 
back to you, man. Back with the art. Like, well, like, what is art to you? Yeah. Art to me. Uh, uh, this is a. I feel like this is a question that has a lot of answers mm -hmm. because art is like is emotion. Mm -hmm. It's something you express. It's a feeling. It's a vibe. Yeah. Because you know anything can really be art. Yeah. Like, yeah. I can like get this cup and do some stuff on it. And it's art. And it's art. Okay. It's like what it is. Like perspective, right? Like it's all about the way you look at something. Yeah. You yeah, that's how it is. Like anything is really art. So it's like, if people don't know, like every, it probably don't seem like about everybody got some art sense inside them, regardless of yeah. like you're not drawing or posting and stuff. But I feel like art is just a natural element that I feel like everybody in this world has. Yeah, it's just how you approach it. So to me, art is just, it's just, I call it like a sense. It's everything. It's like a natural sense, like your smell, touch. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's just it's one of those senses that every everybody has. So, so basically, so basically, you could say. Art is someone's perspective on how they look at things. Basically, yeah. Certain, certain you know things. the you know the quote. Um, I don't know if y'all seen it. It's like without art, Earth would be a. Have I ever seen that before? Because no, like no, if you no. spell Earth is E A R T H. Okay. You take the A T. I mean A R T out. It's like yeah. uh. So like saying oh, like okay. art is a very okay. that's slick. It's man. something that's that you need. Yeah, yeah. Okay. It's one of those little quotes yeah. I've always been yeah. seeing. I'm like damn, that's that's like really it makes so much sense. It does make a lot of sense. So I do, I do want to ask you, how long have you been doing art? How long did you, when, matter of fact, when did you realize that you had a real realized. talent for art? Because you're dope. Okay, well, um, wow. I want to say, uh, it's kind of hard to say because I always been knowing I could draw. Yeah. I just knew I was very artistic. Mm -hmm. So it's kind of hard to set an age limit. I could take when I started. Yeah, when, like, so when did you start? I started, um, there's no set age, but I know for sure it was, I was five years old. Wow. And um, my teacher had did this little group project, mm -hmm. whatever. We had to um, have our own little kindergarten yearbook. Yeah. And so we had people doing their little cover art for it. Mm -hmm. And I did my cover art. And I remember my teacher, I still say that, I remember coming up to me talking about, wow, you're like really good at drawing. I was like, thank you. But then I'm like, I ain't really think nothing of it. Right. I'm just like, okay, thanks. Yeah. <laughs> and she was like, no, like, she put her hand on my shoulder. She's like, no, you're like really good. <laughs> you're like, really good. Like, and you're only five years old. Like, you're tripping right now. Yeah, you're tripping. Like, you're only five years old. You're like really good. Right. And uh, I still had that to that day. It's like one of my prize possessions. My little kindergarten yearbook book of mine. Wow. That's like one of my first known. That's gonna be worth money, man. That's yeah, that's gonna be worth money. I know, but my mom has. I tell mom to this day, I'm like, mom, please don't, because she was at her house. I'm like, mom, please don't lose that book. That book means so much to me. Yeah. But um, even at that age, um, like a lot of anime hits, Dragon Ball Z was a thing. So it's like, it's like, y'all five around like 90. Y'all five around it, um, 99. So yeah, Dragon Ball Z was a thing. Me and my two older cousins, um, we would. They would draw Dragon Ball Z like heavily. Yeah, me too. I'm not gonna lie. So, like, yeah, they, they would draw heavily. So I would, I, I would be drawing, and um, you know, I would try the best. And I knew I couldn't draw them, but like, I'll just be so, just so happy to just yeah. be drawing with them and yeah. stuff. And they probably don't see that, but I remember those days. And um, just going through school, it was like you're doing group projects, and the teachers like, okay, guys, we're gonna have to do a picture for this. They'd be like, oh, I got. My real name Like, oh, I got everyone. Or my yeah. name is Wacky. Oh, I got Wacky, Wacky. Come over here. I want you to draw me. You draw the whole project. Yeah. yeah. So it was like all the way. So you did school. all the work. Yeah, I did yeah. all the work. Yeah. yeah. When it came to drawing the pictures, like, I'll come over. No, nah, don't go over there. You working with us? So it was like it's all through high school, or not just high school, middle school, elementary school. Oh, so everybody knows you for like, oh, this everybody, guy is dope. For yeah, from like my hometown, um, yeah. Warner Robins, shot four seven eight. Okay. okay. <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> like if you know, like my my nickname is Wacky. Mm -hmm. um, it's not like a nickname that was given to me. My mom actually gave me the name before I was even born because oh, she was okay. like, oh, when you was a baby, you was always just moving your stomach. So I had to whack your stomach and you would just stop and you just came back and whack. She hardly ever called me by real name. Like, um, yeah, I, for, I think that's for all that's my mothers, awesome. man. I don't, yeah. I don't think my mom ever called me my real name. Yeah, my mom never does. So. I think she forgot my real name. Man. That's how I feel too. She don't never, it's rare my mom, when I hear my mom call my name, it's just like, I be looking at her like what? Like, what? <laughs> that's when you know you're in trouble. You yeah, that's why you're in trouble. Yeah. But oh, I think she really just do it to get my attention. But um, yeah, it's just like from my hometown, I, I'm a very, I won't say popular. I just, I just know people because yeah. like all my yeah. life has just been, you know, being in like activities like from football, basketball, yeah. baseball at a young age, and then mm -hmm. you meet friends and stuff. 
and then I grew heavy on. I also dance as well. I, I like to break dance. And okay. Stuff. Oh, so, man, you, that's so you, yeah, yeah, no, yeah, I, 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 I b-boy, I b-boy. A lot of people. I posted on Instagram, but people, cause I did it in um, Miami. Uh, we was walking in the Wynwood and stuff, and somebody was dancing. And one of my friends, I was with my photographer Thomas. Mm. Um, he knew I could dance. I think he was like, "Yo, go out there," and I was like, "Cool." I started break dancing. Yeah. And the people that was with us who didn't know what I can do with this, yeah. they like freaked out. It was like. <laughs> What can you not do? <laughs> I'm like, yeah. Robin Dance Forever, because like You Got Served was the, the movie. Everybody knows You Yo, Got Served. So. Yo, You Got Served was the movie, for yeah. sure. Yeah, so that, that put me on. So, so I, <laughs> it, it, seemed, it seemed like you just a right, a right brain, like the right side of your brain type person. Yeah, right? it's like, if I promise you, if I was, if I could sing, I'd probably be a, like out here right now. If I could sing, Damn. like I, I'd probably be a whole. So you just wanted to play. Yeah, the only thing I probably can't do is sing. That's it. Okay. I would say okay. that. But, um. A short story, like we would, there's a thing called Olympia Skatering. We would go like every Saturday. Yeah. So um, I would always, that's how, that's like my low key, my first hustle. I, I didn't see it as a hustle, but now I got older. I'm like, dang, I was really hustling. So we would do it. <laughs> right. they, they would do, they would probably give like $50 every Saturday to the best dancer. Oh, so I would come home like with $50 every Saturday. Hey, dance contest. But I didn't really do nothing with it. I'll probably just like buy candy and yeah. like I'll buy drinks that's, at the corner store. That was a trophy then. Yeah, <laughs> candy was a trophy at that time, For so sure. it was like, I wouldn't do nothing with it, but that was probably my first rehearsal, but um, other than that, just how people knew me, they okay. knew me from dancing to doing art, or just being somebody they knew when they mm -hmm. used to play sports with each other and stuff, okay. I just always had like a, like a known presence in my hometown, like, or if I didn't know you, mm -hmm. most like I was going to get to know you, because I knew this person that knew you, so yeah. that's how it really was. Okay, so like, with that, like, like how was your notoriety? in Atlanta itself because Atlanta seems like now Atlanta seems like it's the creative hub like yeah, if you're you know artist whether musician or you create art or you know even computer programming something so like I feel like this is the hub so like like how is your notoriety I hear the people know you people like you know I I don't say a lot of people in Atlanta is so big yeah but I feel like I know for sure that people have been taking note of yeah. who I am. Yeah, I'm pretty sure they did. <laughs> if they don't know by now, they gonna know today. You yeah, feel me? Yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> like, um, know. it's just I, I never really tried to be like that. I got find a group of people to meet, mm -hmm. so I can meet other people. It just naturally happened. Yeah. Like I be going to concerts, mm -hmm. and then just start talking, that's and then definitely a way. That's, that's how definitely you know people, way. and then you just find out. I was say you never know who you're talking to. You, you just. Know, you never just know. You just like saying, like you just go to a concert and then you just start changing stuff. And then you know, I got I got the same common issues as this person. Mm -hmm. Follow each other on Instagram. Y'all yep. build that friendship and yeah. you get the organic followers. And yeah, all the organic followers. So like I said, it just it's really all been going off by itself. Cause even mm -hmm. Atlanta, a lot of people didn't even really know like in Basin, Georgia, or Atlanta. Cause like I would just post so much. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I would get a lot of people from the West Coast to New York. And then to London, so nobody even really like know where I was from. I didn't really post like geotabs like that and stuff. Yeah, yeah. So, you don't like, want the feds watching. Yeah, yeah, right. You don't want the feds watching. So I didn't really start posting stuff. So a lot of people, I don't think they knew I was Atlanta based. Okay. So I think that's another reason why I don't never really like, you know, I ain't started doing it now to mm -hmm. have it to like this year and a, or like a year and a half ago. Mm -hmm. I ain't really start saying like, yo, I'm in Atlanta, I'm in Atlanta. Yeah. yeah. And like I say, just like the more connections I grew, a lot of people just um just realize. Yo, I, I rock with you. I mess with you. Yo, you real dope, though, for real. Yeah. I, I, I do. If you haven't already, go to Cloud X's Instagram right now and see the, some of the dope art that he has yeah. right now. Y'all can kind of see what we got going on. Yeah, what he has going on right there in the background. But we got the shoes. Dope. You know. The shoes. Yeah. Shout out to Bombay. You know what I mean? Uh, I can't. I'm sorry, but I can't. Uh, oh, no, I, 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 I FaceTime with my cousin before yeah. this because, um, what, like 2015? <laughs> we went to Panama City, my first spring break. Oh, you had a Bombay experience. I had a Bombay experience. I think like, everybody had a Bombay experience. It was so bad. Like, yeah. I still got the picture to this day. We was playing, I don't know, beer baseball or whatever. Yeah. I don't know. And um, I knew the dance from your late. It was a Saturday morning. The sun was out. I was like, yeah. So I took the whole Bombay and I just, <laughs> just chucked it. Oh, man. Like that. But he had see, the Bombay face, man. But I was just, I was just ready to turn up. I wasn't, I wasn't ready for the aftermath. Yeah. But, like, I did the Bombay, played drum baseball or whatever. Um, I took a picture, slumped, and uh, I was like, all right, y'all, I'm finna go in. So I'm so, 
I'm out of it. I accidentally walked into somebody else's hotel room. Oh, shit. And they yelling at me to get out, and I fell oh, asleep. Man, and then, like, this is like, I remember the time it was at 2 p.m. was when I, like, just laid out, and I didn't wake up till 2 a.m. So, I just yeah, I'm not gonna lie, man. <laughs> the gym makes you yeah, that was my first gym. I was like, oh, yeah. I can never do that no more. So I just said, uh, I'm, I'm not gonna lie, man. I, I think everybody had a bomb day experience, but I think mom's like just crazy, man. It turned me into like the incredible hope. Like I was in Houston, and we're, um, you know, it was it was uh, Tia's birthday. You feel me? And it was like so we all just went out there. We had the party bus. We was club hopping, going to going to V Live strip club, all that, right? So. Man, I had to, I, I just had too much Bombay, man. I just tried to fight the security guard and all that stuff. And then Boy, it was like, bro, you got to chill. Night. You got to chill with the Bombay. And I was like, nah, I'm just going to tone it down. But so now now it was, now it was all professional. You feel me? I tamed the beast. You, you got to tame the beast. I man. think it's all about the way you mix the Bombay, matter of oh. fact. So, I, you know, I say a good Bombay lemonade would definitely get the job yeah. done. Yeah, you had a little, a little mint, mint, mint leaves you know in there, little, you know what I'm saying? It's all about the way you mix it. You got to get a player you know down, you know what I'm saying? You can't, you yeah. can't really just, a few shots of Bombay by itself, you're going to be sick. But I know, I know, I know yeah. that that was like when I was younger, nah. when I was doing all that. But it was like think, 19, 20, we yeah. could probably go up to I, I think that was shots. like, I think that's like with any liquor, like any, like I had a, I, I don't know why I bet my homie KD, we was playing Madden. And, you know, we usually bet, like, all right, you know what I'm saying? Whoever lose, you know what I'm saying, take a few shots. But I was feeling myself. I'm like, yo, I can beat this nigga ass in this shit. I was like, yo, however <laughs> more points you lose by, that's how many shots you got to take. So, you know, football, you score a touchdown. Yeah. That's seven shots right there. Right. Man, bro, I don't know what happened, bro. I was winning in everything. That's, man, the shit turned around. Next thing you know, I was down. Y'all was down by two touchdowns, man. I don't know how it happened, bro. I had to take 14 shots of Henny. 14 shots of Yeah, Hennessy. but we, you know, I'm kind of spaced it out, you feel me? Because we were still trying to go to the club before, you feel me? Right. Man, bro, like you know what I'm saying? We get to the club, I'm in there lit, you feel me? But then that Henny So let me hit ask me. you, did you feel that you did take the full, complete 14 shots of Hennessy? Hey, look, my mom ain't raised no hope. My mom ain't raised no hope. Okay, you know, I, sure. I took the 14. Hey, you and my cousin would be best friends. I <laughs> You and all my older cousins would be best friends. I took the 14. <laughs> look, I took the 14. We went to the club. We, you know what I'm saying? We good. Man, like, you what? know what I'm saying? By the time the bro, fifth one came out, it would have been edited. Bro, like, I want to say like 30, 40 minutes into it, I'm calling KB like, hey, bro, man, I'm at your car. He's like, man, no, you're not, bro. I'm like, bro, I'm at your car, bro. I'm sitting on your car. He was like, nigga, is that you across the street? Like, you sitting on somebody else, somebody else's car, man. And I was like, man, damn, bro, that was a crazy, and then I threw up in this shit. And, you know, oh, man. Yeah, it was, it was bad, but I mean, but I, I think that's when you're younger, though, you feel me? So when you, as you get older, you start learning how to, like, play the drinks up. You know? Yeah. Man, I'm getting to an age where I'm like, starting to be, like, on some wine. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, oh, okay. I'm, I'm really- Wine young. down to you, man. For real, wine man, because I was, I feel like last year I was way too lit. If y'all don't know by now, I am to the bartender, so I was getting lit all last year. This year I'm feeling like, yo, I gotta tone it down a little bit. Y'all had to give me a glass of Moscato, a glass of Stella Rosa, and I'm good. I tried my first, <laughs> my first wine, I think like three years ago. Um, it was the option between red wine and white wine. Yeah. And I had never tasted one. I, I really thought the red wine would taste like grape juice. Like grape juice? And it was oh, so sure. nasty. That shit tart or yeah. Yeah. That shit tasted like, like dry wood. Yeah, so oh, I, I did the white wine. I was like, okay, yeah, this is going to be me. But no, nah, I never again no. with the red wine. That was Yeah, I, 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 I tried that Roscato, though. That red Roscato. That's, that's, that's I'm going to have to. My, my, one of my cousins, she, she heavy on wine, so yeah. I'm pretty sure she can help me out. Yeah, definitely. She can help me out. Yeah, I think. With the liquor shit, man, I think we had our time where we just been wild. Yeah. You ever heard of a drink, a uh, liquor called Bonnet Bitch? Yeah. <laughs> hey, yeah, I, I think I think everybody got I think everybody got beat up by her before, man. God yeah. damn, she that was that was that was evil shit, yeah, man. Yeah. But yeah, man. But so, you know, with that. Yeah. With that being said, let me ask you this. So, do you have uh, an artist that inspires oh. you? Go ahead and tell us about that. Artists or people wise, like just as people or just You can just matter of fact just both, people. Both, 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 okay. Both. Yeah, both. I, okay, I'll tell you art wise. Um it's there's three artists. Uh, one is Alex Ross, he does comic books. Okay. Um from Marvel to DC. He does his 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 stuff is so in depth. Like it's he draws cartoons, mm -hmm. but they look like real people. Oh, wow. But it's still you can tell it's a cartoon. Yeah. Like, or like it's just crazy, like 
it's just love. I just love it. And another artist I really like is um is um uh, Ryan English. Um, mm -hmm. I don't know if y'all seen the uh, what's the name of the Chris Brown album. It's um. I don't know. It's like his. Really, his best. It's the one that got "Look at Me Now" on it. Okay. It's like I can't remember. Oh, I can't um, remember the name of the album though. We can look it up, man. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, but she, it's the one with Tiger, right? The album. No, no, it's not with Tiger. No, no, it's his. It's like this album came out 2011, I think, something around that time. It, oh man. It's really fame. Is it fame? It is fame. It's fame. It's fame. fame. Okay. It's fame. Okay. okay. He okay. had did that cover art. So if you look at that, it's just with Ron. He does a lot of different looks and stuff. Like he'll have like. One of his favorite, one of two of my favorite pieces. I got one of them tattooed. It's like it's a smiley face, mm -hmm. but it's called like the evil grin. And he has okay. like skull teeth mm -hmm. and skull smiling. Teeth. I just like how he handles, yeah. how he sees things. Like it's crazy how people just view things. Yeah, yeah, yeah and it was art. Yeah. So so what about what about the art, the art cover for Kids See Ghosts with Kanye? Oh, that know, one Kanye with um, Takashi. Yeah, I think I'm saying right, Takashi. Um, I ain't never been a big Takashi Pond mm -hmm. fan. If I'm still saying that right, I, I mean I like it. So I'm not saying mm -hmm. I don't. It's just like I ain't never really. I this one artist called Cause who I like. Yeah, I put him before Cause. Cause like the OG go for a lot of artists and stuff. Okay, because um he's like everywhere. Like I don't know if you've seen like the I I know he got real real like I already knew of him, but mm -hmm. I think a lot of people really knew who he was. He did this Jordan Four collab. Okay, and it's like glow in the dark bottoms, and he has his signature look on the gray I, Jordans. I, I think I know what you're talking about. I think so. Um, that's like a big person that a lot of people follow. And cover art, another cover art, I'm trying to think of his other people. Um, some other cover art artists who did some, that's some one more thing too. I really want to do cover art for somebody. Man. Like, you really do want to? Yeah, I want to. Like, I want to do cover art for support. <laughs> yeah, you see KV? Yeah, I see it. Hey, hey, I, I just want to do man. cover art for my, like, yeah, because, like, I, I just, like, dang it, I want, I would be cool to do somebody single cover or whatever. Bro, Chris Brown needs to holler at you. I will say that. Man. Y'all have to do some cover art for him. It was. Uh, he following you, right? Chris, so, I, he, <laughs> I don't know what's going on, because, let me tell you the story. Okay, so, I was just visiting my mom back in my hometown. Yeah. And um, I think this when he just like launched his Black Pyramid stuff to like people and stuff or whatever. Mm -hmm. So I wore a Black Pyramid shirt and I just had Black Pyramid and Chris Brown in it. But at the same time, you know, I was drawing too, painting. Yeah. But I wasn't thinking about it like that. I wasn't thinking, oh yeah, he gonna see, he gonna shut me up. Mm -hmm. So I did the painting and I went to sleep. Like I'm still visiting my mom, so I'm like painting in the living room and I just went to sleep. And then my phone just kept blowing up, blowing up, blowing up. I'm like, yo, who keep calling me? Mm -hmm. That's why I got like, 10 minutes calls. Yeah. Wow. And I'm like, yo, what, what's wrong? Y'all called me. It's like, bro, Chris Brown just shouted you out. I was like, what? for real? Yeah. I was like, yes. I was like, chill out, bro. Like, yeah. I was like, yo, yo, he really did shout you out, bro. He, he followed you on everything. I'm like, nah. But see, I'm like 30 minutes late. So I don't oh, even man. know this is so going. Yeah. Okay. So I was sleeping. I didn't know. Uh -huh. And so I feel like then my mom had seen that because I'm still at home. She a huge Chris Brown fan. So it's like, She's just, oh my God, Chris Brown just, she's just going crazy. I'm like, okay, okay, this is what's up. Yeah. And so, but you're keeping it cool. Y'all keeping like, it cool. Like, I'm excited. I'm like, I get followers, G. I get followers. Yeah, that's man. cool, that's cool. <laughs> so I was like, dang, this is what's up. So, you know, being a mom, she first thing, oh, let me go on Facebook and let me tell the whole world my baby, <laughs> Chris Brown, follow my baby. Yeah. So, like, that whole, I promise y'all, it was, it was two weeks. And, like, my, my whole hometown knew that Chris Brown had shouted me out and followed me. At the same time, I'm still just like, okay, that's cool. I, I keep it moving because yeah. like I know, you know, somebody else can see something too. Mm -hmm. At the time, it was like 2016. So I really wasn't like I was pushing my stuff, but mm -hmm. I didn't have the mindset I had now. Yeah. Right. So if I, if I would have known that, I definitely would have like marketed off that very differently and did stuff differently. Yeah, but I didn't. Exactly. I didn't really was, yeah. post nothing. I was just like cool, Chris Brown seeing me. And then I think Instagram, yeah, Instagram didn't have the little highlight things where you can yeah. like just yeah, put that story yeah, around yeah. that time. Yeah. So like it wasn't really nothing to do. Uh huh. So let's just say, oh yeah, Chris Brown shot. So so you got you got any other celebrities that follow you? Yeah, I do. Um, well, Christina Christina Milian is okay. one of my recent followers. That's cool. That's kind of cool. Um, yeah, she bad. Man. I'm not gonna lie, man. Hey, give it up, man. Give it up. <laughs> it's so weird. Really, you know, appreciate <laughs> yeah, it. Let's give it. Let's give it right. Man, man. <laughs> That's weird because like it's like people. Again, you know, I'm still getting used to it and stuff. Yeah. I can't think of another. I have. 
other. They not celebrities, but they like known they well people. Known. Okay. Yeah. They well known people. I just named you know named y'all her because I know that's a lot of people know who yeah. it is. Yeah. Because some people that do follow me, they are big people, but people, some people probably don't even know who they are. Okay. Like um, I got Tiana Taylor's Fade the Fitness brand following me. Mm-hmm. I mean that's oh my fault. I got Tiana Taylor Fade the Fitness brand following me. So that's not like a celebrity, but then that's just something that's attached to that. Yeah. So it's like little small stuff like that, or like big magazines mm-hmm. follow me. So but I, yeah, but I, I definitely feel like the Chris Brown um, follow was pretty good because he does art himself. Like he yeah. he custom tags his cars, his his house, all things like and that. You never so. know; you might inspire him. You just never know who's really watching who you inspire. I, Don't ever put yourself. I, like, I, I say that so much. I'm yeah. just like because. You probably took a few of your technique, man. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm sure. I'm looking at, and, and not to not to you know, you know. Take anything from Chris Brown because everyone takes something from everybody. Because yeah, it's, yeah it, it's actually I, a why you say that is like you know like um this is Michael Jackson quote. He says something something about um everybody's inspired by like great people. Yeah, it's everybody. About being yeah, greater. yeah. Or something. Yeah. In some quote, I, I legit seen this quote like mm-hmm. like Friday because okay. I was watching something about Michael Jackson on YouTube. So like. But yeah, everybody's inspired by people. Yeah, everybody. Yeah. Absolutely, yeah. and you just never know who you inspire. That's why it's always, always important kind of, to promote yourself yeah. and never feel like you know what I'm saying. Even though yeah. you may not be on a certain type of scale right now, just always to remember that hey, somebody's watching. You're inspiring someone. Right. Yeah. Yeah. And like, I, and with that, it's just like times I have to tell myself that because like times just like want well, to like. Post and stuff, yeah, or whatever. But then I have people saying, "Well, you don't never know who's looking at your stuff." And then you know, sometimes I get a DM mm-hmm. from somebody like, "Yo, I really like your stuff." Mm-hmm. And, like it's crazy when they telling me how much they like it and stuff. I think the most random and most craziest one was like some dude was like in his forties. He was like, "Bro, you really inspired me to start drawing." I'm like, "Damn, bro, I'm like." By the time I was like, damn, bro, I'm only like 22. <laughs> like wow. for real, yeah, like that's what's that's that's up. He was like, "Yeah, bro, your stuff is crazy." crazy. At the time, I wasn't really like. I was just posting stuff. Yeah. Like, post. I, I didn't really care about nothing. Mm-hmm. I was just posting it. So it, it's kind of cool to know that even if they're not a celebrity or even they're not somebody who connected to this person, it's yeah. always cool that you have inspired somebody to do Absolutely. something. Man, I, I'm not gonna lie. You inspired me to draw because I draw like shit, bro. Like, I'm gonna tell you a funny story. Like when I was uh, like it was like first, second grade. <laughs> we was in art class, right? So we had to do an art project. <laughs> we had to do an art project, and um, it was like basically like um, you had to you had to draw like your house and then like you know add like the gardens and everything mm-hmm. so me i was like man i know i can't really draw so i was like yo mom you gotta help me but you know my mom she she was like well <laughs> shoot i might as just do the whole thing and my mom can like my mom is really good with like art like yeah. she makes braces and all like everything so she drew like she drew a real nice <laughs> she she drew a really nice right but it was so nice at, and at my skill you know at my age that you know my, i gave it to my art teacher and she's like I don't know if you do. <laughs> looking at your password, like, 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 what happened? What happened? Your mom yeah, say, yeah. "Oh, you getting the A, baby?" Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. yeah. She was like, "No, I can't accept this. You gotta, you gotta do your own type of drawing." So I gave her my drawing, and she was like, "Yeah, see, that's that's your drawing, Donovan. Like, yeah. Stick with that shit." Like, <laughs> like who, who drew this for you? And I was like, "Man, my mom." She was like, yeah. "Well, your mom need to come in this class." You know what I'm saying? But that's cool though. You, you have, inspire people, man. Yeah. I got a funny story too, though. By the way, I remember back back in the days, I was about like third grade. We were doing this thing where we were, where we were drawing a, or drawing an image of ourselves, where like like you're standing behind standing standing behind a white wall, <laughs> and like you're tracing the side of your face with the shadow. I don't know if y'all know what I'm talking about. about. And And so you look into the side and so like I have to like draw myself and cut it out and so at the end it's going to be like a shadow of yourself in all black and all in all black paper. (laughs) And it was, I didn't know that we were going to hang it up. (laughs) They hung it up. No one knew who I was. Like I didn't even know that I drew that. Was it good? (laughs) No, it was terrible. It was the worst. I probably had like my nose was not like my nose. Yeah, I was, or it was extremely that too. Mm. like I just never really had the. Um, I could barely even do like the the, the turkey oh, the thing. I could barely the even do that. that. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I don't know. I think it was just me, it. man. I just, yeah. <laughs> like, I, I think know. it was just me. But yeah, so I want to take it back, man. I want to take it back to the event that I met you at at Cloud City. So tell me about that event. Tell me like, was that your, was that your, so was that your first solo? Yeah, that was my um, first first very first solo show. Yeah. Like, it's been a lot. Congratulations, Congratulations on that, y'all. Congrats on that. I had um, 
all my family came out, like grandma, um, little cousins, yeah. auntie, uncles. So it was, it was really important because um, <clears throat> I like to, like I said, we're talking about inspiration, inspiring yeah. people. Like, it's cool that my family was like inspired by people because like, they ain't never, if I would say, I'm probably like a very odd person out of the family, not mm-hmm. in a weird way, just because like I'm doing a lot of stuff. They do like, what you doing? I was like, well, I'm driving in New York for this art. So like, what? What? What, yeah, you like, yeah. what? what you doing all that for? I'm like, well, you know, to do art and stuff to get it out there. So to them, it's, it's new to them mm-hmm. to see all this and stuff. And then they came there and they seen all the people. They were like, oh wow, this is amazing. Like he's yeah. really out here. But the show, um, Cloud City, um, Cloud City is actually. So don't stop. Don't ever stop putting up dope content because like you just never know. I feel you. I feel you. Yeah. And with him, it's like. Um, you know, he, he was um a good person to help me out to um do the art show or whatever and we just kept branding it and branding it. And uh, we had music performance from uh, forty seven. Yeah, shout out to forty seven man. And um another one of my local people back where I'm from, um, Black Flame. Mm-hmm. And just other other good other talent. And then um we had clothing brand from Full House Club and, and was it Trap Golf? Was Trap Golf, yeah, okay. that's my that's my boy Aaron Munn stuff. Okay, um, that that was something else. That was that was something. Yeah, that's right like now. that was that's my boy. We've been you know supportive like with all that stuff. So like whenever mm-hmm. I got a move, you know, I try to incorporate. Yeah, him. that was his that was his first pop up shop thing. So well, okay, yeah, so it was kind of cool. To, you know, to like I said to help out people, you mm-hmm. know, you know, try to give them that platform to show their stuff because I knew how hard it was for me mm-hmm. to just. Cause I didn't know what was going on in the Atlanta scene. I'm just like, yo, I whatever. I, I just found whatever. Not, yeah. you know, I try to help people out who don't know what's going on mm-hmm. and stuff. That's the that's kind of that's kind of like the same thing with us too. We were definitely talking about a lot of our friends are doing things, great things in the community, but we just don't have the right platform to be able to like mm-hmm. promote that, yeah. what, whatever they're doing. So that's exactly why we decided to create this podcast. Create the podcast. That way, people yeah. can promote what they have going on. Yeah. They can have that platform. Yeah, because I mean, really, really, all that does is because not only did that event help you, but it also helped help people, others. Help yeah, others. Yeah. That's I was looking like when I went to the back room, I was like, damn, what is what's trapped off? And then the other one, pool side, pool, pool house, pool house, yeah, pool house. That that was dope as well. So I'm like, damn, what if, like? So that brought my attention to those those two yeah, people right they, there. Um, so. Pool house is um, from all. I think they in Albany, Georgia. Okay. I don't know if you know where that's at. I've heard yeah. of it. Um, sure. Terrence, he's from Albany, so that was like one of his, you know, local supportive mm-hmm. people. He tried to help out. Like I said, we we was just really just trying to, you know, we knew people who was actually doing something. Yeah. We we don't want to like put people out there who we knew wasn't doing it. We want to put people who was like who's like really out who there really out here who's trying to rise and trying to rise up. Yeah, yeah so nah, it, nah, it was it was, it was nothing about like you know you got thirty k followers I'm put you on. It was more just like yo if you out here and then. Just follow me. I don't care. I ain't tripping. Yo. That's true. I, I'm glad. You, I'm really. I'm really, really glad that you brought that up. As far as people and their followers and yeah, that's another. Uh, that's a big. I, I'll let you finish. Yourself. No, no, no. Go ahead. No, go ahead. Okay, man. Social media is so fake. I'm sorry. Like, yes, it's so absolutely. fake. Yeah, yeah. Social media. Yeah. People be like, oh my gosh, you got all these followers. You got all these likes. I'm like, man, that don't mean the person that got less followers and likes than me ain't making money all yeah. full time. Art. It's just. Mm-hmm. It's just numbers. Mm-hmm. At the end of the day, like. I can delete my Instagram and then what I ain't gonna follow the like. Yo, you know, I saw a quote. Absolutely. It was like two days ago. It was it was on Instagram and a dude, um, it was at a restaurant. You know how the restaurants had like little billboard signs outside? Like yeah, yeah, it yeah. was on the sidewalk and it was like, what if what if Instagram, you know, what basically what if social media was to be turned off today? Today. You'll be broke or not famous. Exactly. You know and this is one of my favorite quotes. Mm-hmm. It's um I actually came over myself, I tell people this, I'm like you gotta think about it. Andy Warhol and Leonardo da Vinci did not need 500 k followers to be the most known people in the world. They did. They did. They did. So it's just like it's just it's just not how the world set up. It's like okay, I need these followers. I need these likes. I gotta get seen. You got, Sometimes yeah. you got to, but had to, realistically, you really don't. Yeah. It's yeah. just an image. Thing. It's yeah. all. It's all. I, I agree with you. It's all about the image. But I will say this. Um, in my experience dealing mm-hmm. with you know, like I said, I bartended. A lot of people will ask me, well, hey. Do you have 2K followers? And my answer is always no, but I have the mentality and skill set. They exactly. like, well, hey, you automatically, you're, we don't want you because you don't have 25. But shit, I, I, don't, I don't think, I don't think like Bill Gates and them have a uh, social media. But Absolutely. They were, they were just big off yeah, of a lot the of product and stuff that they already had. Absolutely. Yeah. But now, yeah. but th- 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 it goes back to the but time they were yeah. in nowadays. Social media, social media is a big thing. And then I also, the other thing I do hate about social media is 
there are some people out there at least social what you call it, social media influencers yeah bullshit so then right there a lot of times they just show the the good things like like say becoming a millionaire becoming a millionaire is not easy it's you not know what I'm saying? easy they only show like oh i got the cars i got the jewel all this blah 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 but they're not showing like oh they quit three times in the past yeah you yeah. know what i'm saying yeah, they were crying in yeah. the corner yeah because they just lost like an endorsement like all of those things so nobody never posted yeah they're not they're posting nobody ever they're not posting, they're they're not posting the bad shit man it's only certain people that that's post, why the good, I all, post yeah. both you know yeah. what i'm saying that's why i always say it's very important for everyone to trust their process their own their own process you yeah. know what i'm saying right. like Whatever you have going on in your life, this is your process. This is your this is your challenge. This is your everything. So it's like, whatever you got going on in life, don't forget that this is part of your plan, part of yeah. your process, and you have to be able to be strong enough to be able to trust it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. So, so like, we can't really look at people to, on know, social media. I got I got to take it back to the you know what I'm saying to the uh, Cloud City event. Yeah. So. Who, who was that guy? Cause I came in, I didn't come in at the beginning of the show. I came in like in the middle. So it was a guy who was, um, who was painting. He was on the stage, but he was using oh, flames. Oh, my boy Copies, yeah. Man, um, yo. He, he Carolina based. He, um, <sighs> Harry, we've been, I probably know about him for like a year. Cause, um, Man. we were, um, we done done stuff with each other in um, the Carolinas before. And, um, he's just trying to, you know, same way as me, just trying to, See what he can get into. Yo, do you do you know how that feels to walk into a room high as hell and you see some dude saying it and then he was in the plane? Oh, 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 yeah. yeah, he had did yeah. other stuff um that same weekend. Mm -hmm. Um uh, and you know, he did my show too. Like he just reached out like yo, I'm like, yo, shout out to bro, man. That shit tripped me out. It was dope because yeah. the finished product was dope. You know what I'm saying? So, I'm so but, glad but, I but that been but that was like that was all right. And yo, I, I got set for a lot of people who left early because I was like, yeah. dang, y'all finna really. I stayed I stayed until like I stayed until the end. Like it was just like me. You, KV forty seven. Yeah. Um, forgot the other guy's name, and then like the owner of the shop. Like we yeah. were just there, like listening to music and all that stuff. So, so. yeah, it, it wasn't like let's say yeah, they missed a lot of like I, you know, forty seven. They're real good when he performed. Yeah, and definitely. Kobe's did his thing and stuff, and then you know I had to give my outro to mm -hmm. you know tell everybody I appreciate them coming and stuff. Mm -hmm. I know people got lives and stuff, but so I, still, I I appreciate everybody who came through. Yeah, and so cause, you know like I like it's Atlanta. You know, yeah. All the things you could have did in yeah. Atlanta. Yeah, <laughs> you came to my yeah. show, so Absolutely. I ain't even tripping. But like the whole yeah. event though, man, like you know having you you know being your know, your artist displayed throughout the entire studio. Yeah, you know and. That's that's a lot, man. You have a lot of art. I don't. A lot of people don't. I don't think a lot of people understand like how much art you have. You can literally come into a studio and go to each room, place all your art in each room, and have the walls filled. You have like the shoes. You can like everything. Like that was insane. The thing about it was when I was creating, I didn't even feel like I had. When I was creating at the time, trying yeah. to get ready for show, I was like I don't got enough. Like for the show, yeah. I kept telling myself, I was like, dang, I don't. I don't think I got enough for the show. But then I started placing everything. Mm -hmm. Okay, I made a decent, the right decent amount. Cause like, um, I said I made these two pieces for my show. Okay. Um, I was really I like really working with size and stuff, but I don't like doing small stuff. I like to do big canvases because yeah. they fill up the room. Oh, so you're a canvas. Type yeah, I'm a canvas person. Okay. Yeah, I like I like the not even canvas, just like like say I use the second round poster. Mm -hmm. You know, it's a regular poster. It's just if it's big enough, I want to use it. Yeah. Man, I, I, I'm not gonna lie, man. That Saint Laurent poster, man. Like, there's just the story behind it. Yeah. The story behind it sells itself. Yeah, you know? yeah. It's so just, that just right there is just like came up crazy. With that whole idea just uh, off the hump, yeah. like off the yeah. That crazy. so I can't wait to go back again this year to Miami because like I know honestly I was driving down here when I was driving my way here I seen this Rihanna Fenty poster. Yeah, I was seeing those. Yeah. Lie, I, I, might, I might low key go grab that after I leave. Yeah, here. I, I, I know. I know that you take. I know that you yeah. take uh, posters like. Like certain posters, like it could be just like a regular artist. Yeah. And you'll do your own little cloud thing too. Yeah. Close, close the door. Man. Yeah, with my cloud. Okay, so my clouds. Okay, I'll tell you a story of my clouds. Okay. So that was I wasn't. Fire alarm here. Then. I wasn't always on. Um, <laughs> I wasn't always drawing clouds. I started off like any artist, you know, just drawing what he see on TV or drawing yeah. what I see his person post. You know, my clouds had kind of like came on its own. I was at one of my friends' loft. Um, and um, we was just drawing or whatever, and um, I just drew it because, like, when I draw stuff, it's never like equal to what I wanted to look like. It's like, okay, okay this side is kind of higher than the other side, or this, or this doesn't look the way I wanted it to mm -hmm. look, or this blank space is supposed to be smaller. Yeah, so I was like, well, let me just 
I see people do, people do graffiti, and I was like, okay, let me just just do something that's gonna add special. Yeah. I was like, well, people think people gonna see it's art, so they you know it's art to people. So I was like, let me just see how it works. I just kept doing it and doing it, mm-hmm. and then I was like, wow, this is kind of fun. And um, it's not and like my name had came before the clouds. Yeah, it just was ironic that my stuff like favorite clouds. You know, okay, to me. Some yeah. people think it looks like water. Some people think it's bubbles. But I'm like, no, nah, they kind of like they're not really even clouds. It's just something to give it a name. Yeah, and and, and there was another. I gotta pull it up. There was another photo, not a photo, but an art piece. It was like anime inspired. I want to like. I gotta, oh, I gotta bring it back up, man. I was talking about my Akira piece. Yeah. I want to say it was that one. It like, was yeah, like his arm and stuff. Yeah, and then the, I, did he have a gun or something? Yeah, like, yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That, that's that's the one I was talking I about. I do like, want to ask you, like, for that for that specific piece, what is that drop that thought process? What do you mean, like, what inspired me to do? Yeah, what, 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 like, yeah, this, like, was, this, yeah, my like how are you thinking that through? Yeah, like, how are you like? Well, like, like, where you get it from? I said, okay, I mean, anime, I mean, you get on the high ass trip. No, no, no. Okay, see, a lot of people think that. Right, I was just going to ask. That's what I'm leaving my process. A lot of people be like, did you get high? I was like, no. So you don't smoke? I do, but I'm saying I do. Oh, okay. <laughs> like, the, the last time I really was smoking. Just pass me that weed that you got. So I can <laughs> right, for real, because I was going to say what? what? No, nah, I would never be on nothing. When I, the last time I was actually, like, on some drugs or whatever was when I was in battles and I was doing this big mural on the wall, mm-hmm. and I was smoking every single day. So, Ooh, like, yeah. it was in my system. So that's, like, the only piece I can say. I could probably draw yeah, a lot I was too. like. Hmm. You probably can. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> I mean, drugs be doing. I mean, we take the right drugs. They yeah. the right <laughs> like the right take on some type of trip that you. Yeah. Yeah. But with that, um, a care piece. Don't um, drugs, kids. <laughs> <laughs> By the way. Say, yeah, I know, right? We messed up with there. Right. Yeah. Right. Oh, hey, I was just gonna say that. Hey, <laughs> hey weed isn't the drug. Guess what? I think it's everybody legal has their trip. I mean, it's legal. I'm gonna tell y'all this story real quick before I go to the care piece. This is how I know weed really finna be illegal. I was in I was in the Carolinas uh-huh. and. I was with some, I was with this girl who was smoking or whatever, and we was driving, and a cop pulled us over. I'm like, oh yeah, I'm gonna judge this it. <laughs> this is it. <laughs> then, you know, Wipeout came out. I'm like, okay, yeah, this is this is about being, my mom gonna be real mad at me. Yeah, this is it for you, man. Yeah, I was, just, I was like, I was saving money too, because I was trying to um, get my stuff together. I'm like, dad, I gotta use all my savings on bail money. Like, this is gonna be. Oh, you was already planning. Yeah, I was already planning. I was like, yeah, this is it. I can hear my uncle, my grandma already, and my yeah. cousins. Cause I did something before. One time I had, like stole this stylus out of Walmart. My 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 family would not let me live this down. About that time, my family won't let this, let me live this down when I had took a stylus out of Walmart. So mm-hmm. I'm like, they gonna talk about this for the rest of me. And my man, my man KB working. You see him sliding? The- yeah, I'm I know. Real, that's real. Yeah. But, um, I had you know had it on me. He rolled down. He was talking to me like normal. My hands like, I know this one. Just, yeah. just take down. He's like, no. He's like, well, you know I'm gonna take down. Call my like, yep. Then I seen backup. I oh, said, this man. is it. I said, it's another white cop. I said, okay, well, you know, two white cops. Yo, you see here. the backup, man. You see the backup. Be like, yeah, this is it. So yeah, I'm like, that's, that's over. So I'm like, oh yeah, this is over. I'm gonna go judge night. I'm gonna have to get ready, man. Look, cause this show gonna be a long night for me. <laughs> but he had um just said, look, let me just tell you honestly, like, just don't be stupid with it. Like, yeah. you driving and smoking, like, come on. Yeah. And he just took my weed and told me to throw it away. I'm like, yeah. dang. Oh, you blessed. But no, but that, that's dope though because yeah. that's what weed is in the drug. Now. Yeah, it's just like they, they, cause it's like they probably pull over like people every single day over weed, and yeah, it's just like, like it's like, so common. It's like it's too common. It's like, why, I can grow why? that shit in my yeah. in my house. I'm yeah. not doing it. That's why I'm not doing it. So don't, don't try to pull me up. Oh yeah, bro. Man, if you watching this, yeah. I, 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 I don't, I don't, I don't need, I don't need the feds pulling up at the crib, man. Damn. But uh, yeah, but if you was like on a meth rage, then yeah, I'm, I'm pulling you over. I'm taking you to jail. But weed, man, that's man. And even with that, it enlightens you, man. It was like with weed, it helps out with a lot of stuff because like uh, anxiety, I, stress, anxiety, stress, or people like everything. My main thing, why I'm like to go for it now, like I've always been like, I guess whatever. But now I'm just okay. It, it could be because like um, I think I seen what it helped out people with epilepsy. Nice yeah. have seizures when I was little. Oh man. So it's like yo, if it helped out people with epilepsy, mm-hmm. epilepsy, that's kind of you know, yeah, that's kind of a good thing. Because it's, it's common that nervous system. Down yeah, it's common nervous yeah. system, and then it's just like you know, people don't want it to be legal because it takes away from other businesses okay. or stuff like so that you, so you're one of those guys you believe i mean that. i'm just i'm just seeing it i'm just seeing like just a lot about it now i just like, like that because I'm, 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 I'm one of those guys man i really believe like the only reason weed isn't fully federally legalized across yeah. the globe 
across America is because it messes up with the pharmaceutical companies, right? As well. the, uh, the big tobacco companies, right. and they can't make money off of and, it. And liquor companies, and that's the message. I mean, let's be honest. Like mm-hmm. Canada is full weed now. It's like Canada yeah. is really no different than America. Like they are next door neighbors. Yeah, there's no reason why we shouldn't have it. So it's like it, br- it but it br- it brings a lot of money into the ec- um, in the economy. You yeah. Know? So. That's why I like going to LA, man. You go yeah. to LA. You go I gotta to go to LA. I want to. I want to do a show there. If I know, I know if I go to LA, I'm. You gonna will. Go. You look. This we gonna. You will go to. LA. So speaking of this, right? Okay. Yeah. That's, that's, that's my mama say. Yo, speaking of this, this is law of attraction is real. Yeah, we're gonna change real. if to win. Like when I go to LA. Yeah, I will when be I go to LA, I will be. But I mean, at the same time, like, I'm gonna still probably just you know be sober a couple of minutes just to get used to everybody. Yeah, yeah. yeah definitely. definitely. But, you know, LA they probably smoking something way different than. I'm not gonna lie. No, that's real true. I went to this Christmas my birthday man. last year, and they had like for really going to the place, and they have like happy hour pre roll yeah. blunts. It's like a dollar for pre for for pre pre roll blunt, and I bought like twenty of them. No cap, <laughs> about twenty oh, you of them. Wish shit. Oh you man, wish twenty of them. You oh, smoke KK? You smoke KK? Man, I don't know. You don't know. <laughs> oh, no. I don't know. I was like, oh my god, the whole the entire time while I'm in Cali, I have my little sister to deal with me. You know, my cousin Candace. The whole entire time, I'm just like, oh my god, I got 20 bucks. I got to finish in three days. How's right. this possible? That yeah. shit too easy. This how I know <laughs> weed and too easy. weed down here ain't messing with other weed. Cause like I went to um. I was in Pennsylvania visiting one of my friends. Shout out to Cap. Cause you gonna be like, oh man, shit, thanks. Shout out to Cap. Shout out to Cap. Shout out to Cap. Like, that's like my brother for real. Cap, this view, man. This view. <laughs> but um, we had. Uh, I'm so glad he don't hold this over my head. Cause I know, I know people in my life who will hold this over my head to yeah. this day. We had this something. It was some bong, and I was like, bro, I can take this. I, I smoke weed. Like right. I know this. I got this. I was great. <laughs> Man, I swear I died and I came back to life. What? I ran out in the street thinking dogs were chasing me. See how the dog is? Oh, you was tweaking. I was yeah, gone. Man, like, I thought my car alone was going up. I kept waking him up. You was tweaking. Yeah, he said, I, he said I was gone. I was like, yeah, it, it was one of them. So that was my worst trip to this what? day. So, you, so I'm thinking everybody this, at this table had a bad trip because I know I had a bad I trip. I know I had a bad trip. I damn near had oh, a bad I, trip last night. <laughs> <laughs> That was my first. I was so scared, and I was yelling. I was like, "Oh, mama, kill me!" Like that's the thing. I can't think about my mom. I love my mom. I was like, "Oh man, mama gonna kill me." Right? Yeah. I don't. I'm. I don't out here. Don't messed up. Uh-huh. Smoke weed, and now I'm thinking like, "Hey, I probably gotta go to the hospital." Right. Then I start. Right. Then I start thinking about medical bills. I'm like, "Y'all don't got medical shit." <laughs> oh, you was on. Oh, Everything oh, was yeah. going. I'm like, "Yo." Yeah. Then I'm up here by myself. Then my family got to come up here and get my body. Oh, like, they got to do all this. Oh, was, was all- my brain was going. <laughs> Yo, you, you was smoking some strong ass too. Strong. You was smoking some strong ass Yo, that's kind of like the same shit that happened to me when I was 16. I was in Minnesota. <laughs> and my cousin Keela, like, I, I was trying to, like, went there at 16. I was trying to celebrate, my birth- celebrate her birthday. And I was just like, sure, I'm 16. Now I'm grown or whatever. My cousin passed me the blunt. I was just smoking, smoking, smoking. Next thing you know, <laughs> I'm like, oh my God, it's 3 o'clock in the morning. I'm extremely high. And I'm about to graduate in two weeks. <laughs> How is this possible? I was just thinking, like, I don't think I'm gonna be able to graduate. I'm in Minnesota. My family's in Chicago. How they gonna get me? Like, man, y'all, y'all be on that type of trip. Nah, man, I had a bad my, trip. My, tra- my was bad crying. trip was on was edibles. Crying. My bad trip was on edibles. edibles. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I tell everyone not so to be more low key. What I did, what I did was, I was always, I was always eating edibles, like the brownies and stuff like yeah. that. But this time, you know, sometimes you feel a little too overconfident. So I was like. So I had the TAC juice. I had uh, I had, I had the uh, the medical. I had the medical candies, and I had these chocolate bonbons. So what I was doing, I was already smoking. I was chilling that whole day, like we was just vibing, like I was getting shit done, like musically and all that. Mm-hmm. So, I, you know what I'm saying? Tia passed me the bonbons. I ate the whole bonbon, and the bonbons like 20 grams in that shit, right? Like 20 20 percent TAC or whatever. So I eat that shit. I'm smoking, <laughs> drinking the TAC juice. I mean, like the little candies or whatever. But I'm just vibing like it's the whole bad. time, just Clean good, right? Yeah. Cleaning up, I'm working on my stuff. You feel me? I'm, I'm, I'm good. You feel me, man? Look, like 11 o'clock at night hit, right? And I'm watching TV. That shit just hit me so fucking hard, bro. Where I sat down and I was like, I'm fucking dead. <laughs> I'm dead, bro. Like I, I think I'm gonna be like this. I was high for like a day and a half. The next day, I said, damn. I'm gonna be like this for the rest of my life. <laughs> he was like, "Oh my God, I don't know what's going on with me, but I'm not me." Like, I was yeah. screaming. Done, G. I'm done. But I had another one. So you had another one right after. But th- but this one, this one was no. This is the first one I had. This one right here was strictly off of competition. 
it was like we smoking competition, so it's like a it's like a secret society. Well, it's not secret no more because we talking about it, but everybody know about it. Know about it. It's a it's like a weed fraternity, right? Yeah. So I was out I was out in Florida, and it's you know it's big out there. So to get initiated, you know what I'm saying? They treat it like a real fraternity. So we we in a dark room, right? You know what I'm saying? Everybody in a circle, everybody just smoking, right? But they got the you know what I'm saying? They got the what you call it that like the big bros and big sisters right there. Yeah. So they're like. Everybody, so everybody get this fat ass blunt. I'm talking about it had to been like, it had to been like five, five, six grams in that shit, right? So they just, everybody get one, and he's like, smoke it to the cherry bright red. Smoke it, smoke it, smoke it. To so the I'm, cherry bright red? Yeah, yeah. So oh, I'm, 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 hitting, I'm like, what this ain't nothing? I'm hitting it. Yeah. I'm hitting that shit. I'm like, what this ain't nothing, man? What's this? Hitting that shit, right? So they're like, oh, you thought that was something? <laughs> Bring out the bubbler. They brought out this laboratory bubbler bomb, like some yeah. shit, like it's like a bubble. They got like a little string, so I'm hitting that shit. Like, ah, I got yeah, this. Yeah, I'm, 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 I'm in my bubble now, like, bro, this free weed type shit. So I'm like, let's get it. Like, I'm, yeah, free weed. Like, like, I'm, like, I'm like, let's get it. I'm about to kill this shit. They're like, oh, you know what I'm saying? they like, now they get in your face, like, shut the fuck up. Stop talking. Like, nigga, damn, you oh, kill so my real life. Like, what, what the fuck going on? So, so these niggas start bringing out more weed, right? And I'm like, all right, bro, I'm already on my level, bro. Like, I'm good, G. You feel me? I already smoked like damn near a half right there just by myself. I'm oh, like, bro. Man. I'm like, and they just still coming. Like, they got another bomb coming. They got this. That's when I first learned about the fucking Chilean. So like, you you have it like this, and you you block the uh, bottom of it, and yeah, you yeah, just smoking, yeah. right? You just like on some real roster shit, right? So I'm smoking yeah. that shit. You know what I mean? So I'm already Jamaican. So I'm like. Hold on. Let's go, right? You feel me? Right. Man, bro, we in there smoking, smoking. Like, <laughs> smoking, smoking. I'm high. Like, I'm like, damn, it's like, I, I look at, I'm trying to look at my phone. I'm like, damn, bro, I've been here for like three, four hours, bro. Like, we still smoking, bro. I'm high, bro. I'm looking, <laughs> I'm talking to the dude, like, I'm already high, bro. I'm, I'm past, nigga. He's like, no, we ain't done yet. Man, bro, I got so damn high. I was like, man, pass me that shit. <laughs> Motherfucker, pass me, pass me up another fat ass blunt. And I just got to hit that shit and I, I just fall back. Right now, by the way. But when I fell back, I fell back on the couch and I was like, um, and I was like, I just fell back, bro. And I just, I was in space goes, bro. I was talking to Jimmy. <laughs> I was talking to goddamn Peter Tosh. I was just high as fuck. I couldn't even drive, bro. It was like, I was drunk. Like, yeah. you know, I was so fucking high. So <laughs> they had to goddamn, Man, man, my boy had to drive me home, man. But that was the first time. But the edible shit like freaked me out, though. The edible shit freaked me out. That shit, I was oh, just too man. high. Yeah, you know what I'm saying, yeah. That's yeah. crazy. That's crazy. So wait, okay, back to you. Yeah. Let me ask you a quick question, though. So we see that you had an appearance in the CW Legacies, right? Yeah, I did. Yeah. Y'all know where I'm right now. <laughs> <laughs> we, did our, we did our research. So, yeah. So, 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 so tell me, how was that? I loved it. I missed it. I just talked about that today with somebody. Um, they had asked me to come out. It was, it was extra. It wasn't like, you know, I had a role, but still it's something close to yourself on TV. Like, my yeah. on TV. Um, so the thing about that, my friend had tagged me in some kind of casting call list and said looking for artists. I guess he assumed they were looking for artists to do some artwork, like on the background or something. Yeah. And I was like, I guess. I mean, I'm free that we can. I'll, I'll do it. Yeah. So I get on set, they just like, you ready? I'm like, yeah, where the um, thing get for me to do art on? They're yeah. like, no, you're, you're actually like doing art on camera. I'm like, oh, live oh, art. Yeah, so you mean like y'all y'all like like recording me on the side? He's like, no, we yeah. have the camera like in your face and you're gonna be spray painting this van. I'm like, oh, oh. I wasn't ready. <laughs> Cause I thought it was weird. They was like, make sure you come, you know, shave and you know, have a good cut and stuff. I'm just like, I mean, what's this? Yeah, I was like, okay, I guess. And I um, went out there and it was so hot. Okay, so the show post has been based in the fall, but it's summertime. And you're like in like sweaters and hoodies and it's like, it's Atlanta, so you know, it's hot. So we just like, oh my gosh, I can't do this so, Right. I'm like, I can't do this. And we had to do like three takes and I'm gonna tell you why. And the three takes, they sound short, but it took so long. And I'm gonna tell you why we had to. So. I ain't never been on, I've been on TV, but they've been like little commercials and all those. Yeah. They wanted nothing crazy. But this is the first time I got a camera above me and I got a camera like going on around the side getting me. Oh, damn. it was like some in-depth. It was some it was in-depth. Real deal, yeah, real. it was a real, real deal. Like, I'm on that. Pre- appreciate it. Thank you. I mean, I can't wait to do more and stuff. I'm still trying to find, you know, little stuff to do. You will, though. I'm telling you. 
I mean, bro, like, what's the going your, on? Your, your shit, your shit is dope, bro. Your shit is dope for, for one real, reason. My mind away. It's like, it's like anime mixed. Yeah. Animation, but you got like real like pop culture it. inside yeah, of it. Yeah. It's like so much into it. I try my best to try to find how to be different, but I, I don't. I still don't know if I can be different. I mean, I, I just, I just do what I, I just grew up on. So okay. I just love bright colors. So I, just I, I want. I would, I would say that you're very different, by the way. You're. I think that you're very. Different. I think I'm different for an Atlanta artist. Okay. Like yeah. if I can with West Coast. I mean, I probably be people probably different, but I feel like you know Atlanta. I see, I know a lot of Atlanta artists. They do a lot of black cultural art. They yeah, they do. Yeah, they colors. Do. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, like Edgewood. That's like, true. You been out Edgewood? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You see yeah, Edgewood? They got a lot of like the, the Colin Kaepernick. They got Stacey yeah. Abrams right there. Exactly. Like, yeah. And I'm yeah. I'm all for that. Like of course, <laughs> it's just I don't see a lot of. I was when I was in Miami. It was art everywhere. On oh, the walls. what you mean like sunny? It's like you thinking like oh man, beautiful. Like no, no, no. Like art on walls. Oh, yeah, yeah, no, like, no, you can like literally like walk. And do art on the walls, and nobody would not say nothing. That's how. Oh, you, 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 ever, you ever been yeah. to Croc Street? Yeah, yeah, like yeah. That tunnel right there. It's just like Croc. Just imagine Croc okay. Street, but you got skyscrapers and stuff covered the art. Wow. And they're not like disrespectful art. They they murals. Oh. So like okay. down here, I mean, in this area, you know, you don't. I, I really don't see a lot of murals. Yo, it's a mural they just put up. It's on um, damn, what what exit is that? I want to say Capitol Ave exit. You see the apartments? It's like close to the highway. It's like the skyscraper one. Tia, you notice that one? It's like a, a black female and a black dude, but the black female is like over, over the dude. Like she got like a book or something. It's, it's like it's a huge. It's, yeah. It takes the whole side okay, of the building. Okay, I know exactly what you, you mean. You know what I'm talking about? It's on Capitol Ave. Yeah, I'm about to it's, it's on that building. Yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. Okay. yeah. Okay. It's just, I'm, I'm gonna definitely. But see, that. that's like more of a, like it, it tells a story. Yeah, it tells a story. See, yeah. mine's is just like I want to do something different. Like on like the, fun. Type yeah, thing. I want to put anime up or I want to put some abstract looking creative stuff. But like, I see other artists who do it, but it's only really one artist that I, I don't know, actually by like I know of him. Yeah. And he's only doing it and stuff. It's another artist too. But um, I feel like, you know, if I start doing that, it'll be, you get seen more because there's not a lot of difference here. Like when you go to other places, they yeah. got so much going on. And it's like, here, it's just, I feel like it's just, it's no like real eye catching type of stuff. That's why we need you in the A. I mean, all like, the way. I'm on the way. I'm on the yeah, way. Man, you gotta For come real though, I, I really Because I, so I thought you lived out here, life. man. I, I mean, mean and I was that's how I'm a Georgia. I be telling people and stuff, but you know, I, I just wait for people to ask me because I don't want to just, you know, just say where I'm at, you know, crazy people. Like yeah. So, it's <laughs> factual. So it's just like, um, as I'm in the Carolinas, I'm not too far from Atlanta, so it's just okay. like I'm still close, but I'm at, like I said, I'm in Georgia. Home I guarantee you, once you once you move out here, yeah. shit's gonna just like go skyrocket, skyrocket, yeah. man, skyrocket. Yeah, like, like, I ain't like, gonna be like, ready for the rush. Like, like I said, I'm gonna have to get ready for that rush because yeah, the guy talked to me. He said, "Yo, you doing a lot of stuff. You don't even live in Atlanta. You That's know, what I'm saying. Shows and stuff and solo shows. Like, you, ain't, you don't even be waking up in Atlanta. I'm like." Yeah, and, it's, and, and guess what? It's people crazy. out here in Atlanta. That's art. That's, that's, that's art. Already. And they don't even do. They don't even. They don't even, they they don't even do the shit that That's the thing, cause like, okay, so when I first started, out, I wanted to go to Art Institute of Atlanta. Okay. And um, that's why I joined the military, cause yeah. um, I was trying to, um, you know, get art school cards. Like, yo, college debt. Like, regular mm -hmm. college debt. And I yeah, know yeah. I want to do art, but I don't know how I want to do art. But I think that's what I me. Mean. I didn't know platforms and stuff. Like, mm -hmm. I didn't know. Oh, they doing art shows and stuff. I was just like, okay, I gotta be in art school to get to know what the art moves are. Right. But you know that eventually fell out. Cause I started you know, posting stuff, and yeah. people started seeing them. Like, well, I really don't need art school. And one of the art advisors, we was talking because I went to his office to show him, you know, my recent stuff. He was like, um, "You really don't need to be here. You be wasting so much money." I was like, "Why you say that?" He was like, "Cause these people here, they ain't even doing what you're doing. They like come to the school, and they just ain't supposed to come to them. Wow. They don't even like take the time to to find you. Like, he's like, you don't know how many." People come to me and ask me where can they show their stuff at. Right. And it's like, you know, right. people here that don't know what's going on. Mm -hmm. So I feel like I think I know what's going on more because I actually try to look for it. Yeah. yeah. Instead of like I'm here, instead of being here, I'm like, oh yeah, it's gonna come to me naturally. And that's that's not how it worked out. Yeah, true. So Damn, man. That's wow. That's dope. Appreciate it. I, since you did just uh touch bases about the military, um you wanna go ahead and tell us a little bit about that? How did you how did you Okay, so you say you went to the military, and how did so you give your creative side? Yeah, yeah. I, I got what? Like, no, I'm saying like you went to the military, and even though you knew that you wanted you yeah. wanted to do art, what made you decide to go to the military? Man, it was more more though like uh, my mom talking about I ain't doing nothing. My dad saying you need to 
you know, we want you to do something. So it was just like, oh, um, yes, military. Yeah, 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 so yeah. just like, that yeah. was my 20s. Like, my, like when I was 20, it was yeah. just like a, let me just do this so they'll shut up. Yeah. So mm-hmm. I did it. And at the same time, I probably really would approach it differently, but I don't take it for granted because, like, it definitely was a life experience to, like, learn new stuff and meet new people and stuff. Even though I was National Guard, like, I went to basic training. Mm-hmm. And like it was a whole different experience, yeah. you know. To me, that basic people. training shit. That basic training gonna set you. I, I love it I, to this day. Like I know a lot of people ain't military, but I would say a lot of people should at least experience basic training once, just to see how it is. Like just to oh, meet man. people, just to meet whole different people. Like you got different religions, you got different yeah, backgrounds, yeah. you got different, um, you know, sexuality. You just meeting a lot of people, lot of people. from different places mm-hmm. who ain't know from you, and. Can we cuss on him? I don't know about Cuss! Alright, so this is yeah, how I knew. Yeah. This is a, this. And yeah, we are back, man. I'm back with my boy Cloud, man. We gotta take a little sponsorship break, you know, because the bills gotta be paid. You gotta be paid. You know what I'm saying? So, <laughs> you know, we're back. So, what we, we were talking about the National Guard? You was yeah. So, okay. Yeah. So, you was in the military? Um, about three years. Okay, um, three years. Okay. Yeah, I, the military experience was cool. I mean, it really wasn't me. It was more like, okay, I'm I'm 20, so I got to figure out, you know, what I want to do. It was just an experiment. I knew I didn't want to do it. And then there was really a joint because I wanted to go to art school, and I didn't have money, and then, you know, honestly, so I was going to say, let me do this. We got a job deal. But then the longer I was in the military, it was like, I know I don't want to do this, and I might love art way more. Okay. And, like, I got out, like, right before they deploy, mm-hmm. they deploy. I got into line to deploy and in October, so I'm like, oh, yes. Oh, you got all right of time. I got all right of time. And then my, my parents were so happy with it because I don't know why they thought like this, because I knew even without it, but my parents were like, oh, Obama's in the office, he'll take care of you. I'm like, Obama don't know who I am. Right, like, <laughs> bro. They was like, that don't right. matter. Then when Trump got in the office, oh, I can't wait for you to get out of the military. I'm like, I never wanted to join the military. Anymore. I just man. did this so y'all can leave me alone and say I'm not doing nothing. Right. The military, regardless, man, no matter what president which you with, man, they they bound to send somebody they to war, you feel me? So yeah. Obama just did it with a smile. Trump just tell you straight up to his face, like, yo, I'm about to I'm about to send you over there. <laughs> you about to kill these motherfuckers and come back. You feel me? But yeah. That's a whole nother political situation. Yeah, man. definitely a whole other, but I will say this, uh, especially you, Don, you yeah. you did serve. Yeah, I, I did, I did. I, I, I did that. Yeah, I did the active duty, you know what I'm saying? Army bull, shout out to, you know what I mean, all my people out there. Thirteen Romeo. You know what I'm saying? Uh a little <laughs> small group of us, but we out there protecting whatever. But yeah, man, the army the army was cool, man. I think the army was cool for the for me the most part was moving and being able to live in Korea, South Korea for a whole entire year. That right there was dope as hell. I think everybody needs to go to South Korea and experience their culture because they love us. They love hip hop. Sure. They love R and B. They love pop. You feel me? They love our fashion. Their fashion industry out there. Their fashion. Uh, their shopping districts out there are insane. It's crazy. I mean, you can go shopping. Every, like, yo, I will say this. Time. I was an army wife. I mean, I, I was. I was army wife. Um, I was the army wife of Don, by the way. And when we were there, <laughs> we were in Korea, I swear I felt like I shopped like every single day. And it was just dope. It was a dope vibe. It was very affordable. Yeah. I know money's different, but is the cost like the higher I will say this, um, you you get a more bang for your buck. Yeah, we was, living, we yeah. was living we in, was living like, in condo. Crazy. Like the condos out here they got in Atlanta, like these ones they charge like for rent like three, four thousand dollars a month. Yeah. Like those shits right there. Like, don't even compare it to the ones we had in Korea. Yeah. And we were only paying, like, we're paying half that, you feel me? So, like, we had, like, hardwood, throughout the whole house, it was, like, hardwood floor. They had, like, the fucking, what you call it? Heated floors. So, heated throughout, floor, yeah, uh, throughout the, and the comfortable heat, like, not that, like, it was, like, throughout the whole house, and everything was touch screen. I never had to touch my cameras door. Cameras everywhere. Cameras everywhere. So, it, like, my friends come in, I just, you know what I'm saying? They buzz, I, I buzz them in, I see them at the door, like, psh, press the button. I could be in the bathroom, I press the button, they come in. Like, that shit was fine, man. But the culture, the culture itself, like, I see, like, damn, they really, yeah. they really love us. You know what I'm saying? They, they came really to love our us. house, was like, oh, hi, Mrs. Mr. and Mrs. Mm-hmm. Lyons. They came with, like, a, a, a big old basket of fruit every yeah, yeah, single they, time. So but I the reason they were doing that because they was, they overcharge Americans. But it's all right, oh, though, that shit was fire as fuck, though. So <laughs> I mean, is it okay? okay. Yeah, I mean, it was. I mean, they knew. <laughs> I mean, they knew. They knew who was coming with a certain amount of money. I mean, it's cool, but the amount that they was charging us still is still is like, oh, I would take that any day compared yeah. to you know what I'm saying. But that's a whole other story, man. But yeah, I mean, I, yeah, that shit was cool, man. But I, I, I do have a lot of friends that still 
were able to create uh, keep their creative side going while while they was out there. So I so when you said you were in the National Guard, I was like, you know, I could see you had to find like little pockets here and there to like still hold yeah. your creativity because they just sometimes shut you down onto onto, onto some like regimental <laughs> type bullshit. Yeah, you know I mean? so, for sure. You know, be, you you being still you being there and still being able to create psh, dope as fuck, man. But like, I got I got I got a question, man. What's up? Going back to the cover arts, because I know we were talking about like kids see ghosts cover art. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. So you you love hip hop. You big in hip hop. Big right? hip-hop. All right. yeah, of course. So. I'm a fan of Travis Scott, man. I'm a fan of uh, Amigos and Quavo and all that. Definitely Travis Scott. We so love when Travis they, Scott. So oh, when man. so when Travis Scott and, and Quavo dropped the album, you know what I'm saying? Head uh, Honcho. Oh, the Head Honcho cover album. Cat Jack. How did you like that I cover? I didn't like the cover. Album. You didn't like no, it? No, I didn't. I'm just like, I thought it was oh, fucking no. crazy. I thought it was like. I mean, that artist is seen by. I mean, but still, just like it's Travis and. Playboy. Yeah, yeah. they did something way, way, way I, 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 I feel like they could have did something way better too, man. I feel like that art, I think they were trying to tap into something else. It's different, but I'm just like, I mean, no. And I actually looked into like the person, the person that, that did shit, it. Yeah, and I saw the art and I was oh shit. That shit is like dark. Like it was like, just, it was just crazy, it's different. man. Hey, I'm not yeah. tripping on the art of it. It's just like. I just it's Travis and Quavo. They did something way different. Okay, I like Quavo recent cover art he did. Mm-hmm. Like, I thought that was kind of cool. Yeah. So that was yeah. Cool. That, that shit was that shit was. Yeah, dope. I, I liked it. That one. I went. And um, Travis, I hated travel. Travis Astro World cover art because I seen because this for months people will post doing their concept concepts. Yeah, I seen so many concepts way better than that. Yeah, album. and he he picked that one. Yeah, he yeah. picked that. And I'm just like, yeah. why even put a roller coaster behind the head? Like. Yeah. Yeah, and definitely. You, but did you go to the concert? Yeah. Oh yeah, I did. Yo, oh, that shit was. I was there. I'm going to the one in um Charlotte. And um, okay. I will come to when I left. I ain't got time. I won't be free, but I'm definitely gonna be one. Yo, Charlotte. we went oh, to the we yes. went to the one uh, like the first because you know he had a second yeah. leg coming. So yeah, the yeah. first leg, he did the first leg. We we went, and I'm like, yo, this nigga had <laughs> this nigga had two roller coasters, bro. Yeah. I'm like, and. Like Travis Scott, like the music, I'm a huge Travis Scott fan, like yeah. since like Isle of Pharaoh, all that shit, you feel me? So when you know what I'm saying, Astro World was dope, but like sure. brother, like the fucking concert, the like the energy he brings, the, the visuals, visuals like, was the setup, like everything he brings, I was he like, does damn, bring a lot of, he, like, he brings hella energy by the Yeah. Me. Hella. I, it was at one point I was like, damn, because like, you know what I'm saying, you, you know what I'm saying, you bring a little herb, you know what I'm saying, go smoke up at the concert. Yeah. I couldn't really smoke during the show, what, man. What I'm like, too where late? Where y'all at? Oh, we was, we was right we was there. Like, yeah, I made sure. Oh, y'all was in the hundred section. Yeah, yeah. I was on the floor. You was on the floor. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. yeah, I was in my oh, oh, right oh, there. Let me tell you. Too. Let me tell you what oh, happened. Oh my, oh my god. Okay, this is my. So you was there when we was there. I was there when I was there. Yo, we was, this is small. This is this how I realized I gotta do different when I come go to Charlotte because. I was there. Yeah, I seen Lance Gross too. Y'all know Lance Gross? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I was walking out. He had like nobody seen, but I knew. And that's my eye. Like earlier, I told you I seen Blueface. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. But it seemed like I just seen Blueface today. That shit was crazy. Yeah, like I just I just see people. Mm -hmm. It's not like a. It's like, bro, I I know who you. I don't be like, oh, Blueface. I seen Mama D. She was walking. I'm like, bro, I I know who you are. It's like it's just be randomly just catching people. Yeah, it's so weird. weird. But I seen him walking. I had his hood over, and I just turned and looked. I was like, what's up, bro? He was like, what's up? I just shook his hand. Just like you ain't low key, but anyway, <laughs> you're not low key at all. And so, but um, <laughs> this is my 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 first mosh pit experience. I've been on floor before, but not like this. Yeah. I knew it was gonna be different. People go to mosh pits and they bring their girlfriends with them, and that gets on my nerves. Let me tell yeah. you why. Because they, they want to handle that. Shit. They can't. They want to hold a girl. You can't and just watch. Shit. I'm like. Have y'all not seen this man concerts on YouTube? Right. It's not finna be that type of event. Y'all, y'all didn't really do upset. no research. Y'all no didn't research. Do any research. I got I had I was all the way from, I was on a gate. Uh-huh. Yeah. And I got pushed back. Oh man. Like I was I mean I got my little video appreciate yeah. the track, but it was just so hectic because like people was just Yo, so they like, instantly did the mosh pit, like as soon as the fucking It's not even the mosh pit, bro. Like on the front row, yeah. people would just stand there and watch. Oh, like man. they would just Doing this the whole time, I'm like, wow, y'all really came here to just that do this. To, to, to record the whole thing. They recorded. Cannot record. record. Yeah. I promise yeah. you, yeah. they was up. They were not trying to get turned. So that's why I got pushed back and stuff. Cause like I was literally the only one in my section, like really, well, not in the set, like but that area. Yeah, area like yeah. really trying to start. I was trying to start mosh pits in the front. Yeah. And nobody, everybody was just trying to. 
a trapper's not gonna come down here until you get on stage. Right. Like he want to see that energy. He want to see the energy. Like y'all, yeah. y'all, y'all don't look at stuff. Like y'all just come here to post stuff on so social media. On social, that's, 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 that's why they came there for. I'm like, trips to post, to, to to post stuff. I'm like, no, like, no. Man, look, so that's so stupid. Man. It was so like I was like, okay, so like halfway through the concert. I got in the middle section. I realized the middle part of the floor is yeah. where you need to be. Really? Okay. Like, take note taken. <laughs> yes, no, no. I'm telling you right. No, I know. I know now. When he played "Fuck the Club," I was Fuck like, "See, I wasn't." That's no, why I didn't yeah. drop. I dropped my blunt, bro. I didn't drop my blunt. Man, that's your wow. face. I didn't know who was gonna. Wow. The thing about Travis. I didn't know he was gonna go all the way back to our Pharaoh and then yeah. do everything day before rodeo, rodeo, everything. I, I didn't know knew, he was gonna do I knew that. what Travis was gonna do because like, I'm, I didn't know a, I'm a big Travis fan and I knew what he was gonna do. And yeah. I was, even when he came out, he was like, Atlanta makes some motherfucking yeah. noise. Like, because I, I, I look at his tours and stuff, I yeah. look at his festivals and he do the same type concepts on yeah. how he do stuff. Mm-hmm. So I kind of in my way new and then I was kind of like low key stalking him. Stalking what the other shows was doing. So I already yeah. set list and stuff. So I, so I knew a song was gonna come on, but it's just like, I know next time for sure, middle part when I go. Yeah, I'm cause you know he's he coming back here in March. Yeah, he's like, coming back in March. March. I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm, and I'm that's like his, that's his second. It's supposed to be. Come on, we need to go. It's yeah. supposed yeah. to be his second and last. Some tickets. Not yeah, <laughs> no, I'm here. Like, I got it because the prices. It's kind of funny because the floor prices are lower than the Charlotte one. I think it's kind of weird, but I'm mad because I know I'm gonna miss the Atlanta one just because it's Atlanta, and the vibe. I'm not gonna lie, gonna come out like. Like, you know what? I don't think. Matter of fact, oh yeah, no, he, he, he did. Like, he the, brought the, 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 the gun was already. No, was, it was dope when he brought out Don Toliver. Yeah, Don Toliver. He brought Don Toliver. Yeah, that. 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 I'll try to go to the ASAP Rocking one. That's oh, I, mean, I, I missed that one. I missed that one. A lot, of people, ASAP, a lot of people sleep on ASAP because his I feel like his visuals. So are way all right. Better. So let me. So his last album, Testing. Do you like that album? Yes, I love Testing. Thank you, and bro. People was like, "Thank oh, you." Better. I'm like, "Bro, Yo, Testing that, is like amazing." It's, it's it's it's. People didn't understand the concept of testing. I the the, the title even told you he's testing different sounds, different melodies, and different like just like an environment of music. So like. His first three songs are gonna definitely sound different from the last three songs or the right. middle one. So I'm like, but that shit was just so hard, man. Like every I, visual I, I music video for that even, album is like you. crazy. Thank like, you. It's amazing. And I tell I, people I'm like, Astro World is a great album. When it comes to the music video, it got nothing on test music videos. Yeah. Like sickle mode, just sickle mode because it's sickle mode. Yeah. But if you really like look at the visuals, mm-hmm. and I'm telling you people, like I already like look at the visuals from ASAP to Travis. Yeah. Like it's totally different. It's yeah. way different. It, 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 Travis is not touching ASAP nowhere when it comes to visuals. What, what, what's that? He, he dropped a single. ASAP dropped a single, man. Um, I love that song. I don't know why I forgot the song. Is it a slow vibe? It's like chill um, away. Yeah, but he, he made he made a music video and for it. Like, people it's are like called Sundress. Sundress. Sundress I love, yeah, I love that song. That Sundress. Song, Cause it got Tame. This is what we talking about music. So Tame and Paula. I'm a big Tame Paula. I'm a huge Tame Paula. I love Tame Paula. They gonna they're gonna be in um uh they're gonna be in North Carolina. Um, no, they're gonna be out here. Shake oh yeah, but see, I ain't got time. To, that's the thing. Man, gone, but see, the, it's different though because that's a festival. The yes. show they're doing is a solo show. Okay, so, so they're gonna get more. You gonna get more of them? So I'm real. They come in May. I'm like, dang, 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 dang. Bro. and they ain't dropped nothing since sixteen. So it's like, okay. yo, you the first. I think you like the second person I ever talked to besides like my cousin that really loved Tame and Paula, man. I don't even like, know who that is. Tame Impala is like, man, man like, Tame Impala is really Tame Impala. You didn't put me all down, by the way. Tame Impala, like, really, you wouldn't, amazing. you wouldn't even have Travis Scott's album you wouldn't without Tame Impala. Tame Impala is like alternative. I was, it it's was, chill wave. Yeah, it's, it's like chill wave, boy, but it's like Toro, yo, that's another. I went to go see him too. I was first stage. Oh, he, 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 he threw his um at the end of the show. They all had a little set list, so we each one have one. But he airplane, he threw his at me, so I caught it. I, I take a lot of sweet but Tame, but Tame yeah. is dope, man. Like I just get hella high, and I just like it's amazing. His, like, his music is just yo. Like, I love. I, by the way, I love artists who can provide a who can provide music that can that you can really like, yeah. yeah, that's why I'm really rocking with this um, Summer Walker right now too. Mm. I'm gonna get her, her 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 Summer Walker. I'm still getting used to that. Right Shout out to Summer Walker. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Damn. So okay. I was gonna I was gonna lead this to like the next episode I have or whatever, but I've been listening to the albums, man. So you know, two chains drop did drop an album. Yeah. Rapper go to the lead. 
Gunna dropped the album, Drip and Drive 2. Oh my God, the Gunna album is Offset stupid. dropped the album, 504. Like, Have you listened to those Offset. albums? Okay, um, I listened to the Gunna one, only the one that's, you know, the most known ones. Mm -hmm. I listened to the Two Chains one. Mm -hmm. I didn't like the song he got with Travis. I like the one he got with Kendrick, because I'm, I'm a big Kendrick fan yeah. too. I like that one. I'm still, I gotta give it a second go around. Um, but I did like Solange thing. Yeah, she did drop out yeah. and I and I, I'm, I'm, I'm so, you know what? I'm really gonna yo, say this, yo, I'm really yo. thankful that you brought up Salon right now because most guys will come to the interview, no. and they would not shout out a female artist. I love you. I, I, you have to, I love you sound, have to. I love music. Like I, I love you in Solange, a okay? Yes. Like that's what I was saying with Rock. sound, like um on my Instagram story I put up some mixes and stuff today. Yeah. Oh, like, so, you, so you do music? I did see those I, mixes I'm by the working, way. I'm working, like it's not it's not for like you're a full time. Um, so yeah, I like the career. Like, like, so you doing music? You making art? You can dance. You, you can, can dance. dance. I like that too. I'm, I'm about to go back yeah. to it. What can't, do, what, can't what can't you do, bro? I just can't sing. What, 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 what can't I you mean, do, man? You probably can't sing if you if you just try it a little bit. I, mm -hmm. I, I, I no. I tell y'all right now, it's just one of those. Like I love. I mean, I'll sing because you know I love. I don't care. I always can't sing, but no, that's. That's probably if I could sing, I probably would be. So I, I got, I got a question. I got a question. So with your art, man, with the, with the music, you got music. You can dance. You know what I'm saying. You love music. Uh, you love like hip hop and everything. How does that? How does that? How does that clash into? It is a clash, but how does that mesh into your art? Oh, that's a tough one. How hip hop mash into my heart, yeah. or just music and all like just music in That's general, music in just general. music in general. Like, like how does it's that so free? Okay, start? let's just use Travis and Tam. Like, those are just sounds, you know. Mm -hmm. It's no like, it's just like you don't know what you can listen to. You know, Travis, Travis yeah. do a lot of beat switches and stuff. Like, yeah. sick of him, he do this and then with switches. Yeah, and then you know, Tam Paula is like, you know, people feel like they're on cloud nine and stuff. But my art is just like, it's eye catching stuff, it's yeah. like it catches your attention. It's like it's something you know you 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 it's something that you know you can look at and you can walk down the street five minutes later and be like, oh yeah, I you can still think about it like dang, I remember how that looked. Yeah. So it's a piece you're gonna remember. The art is just it's just one of those things that's an attention grabber. So my thing with Tame and Paula, Toro, you know what I'm saying, even um Beach House. You listen to Beach House? I'm new to Beach House. Yeah, I'm new I'm to Beach House. My cousin put me on. But Travis? Yeah, shout out to shout Travis, Travis, man. Travis, man. Shout out to Travis, man. For real. Gotta shout out Travis. He, he's an artist, he, he too, by the way. He got some good yeah. stuff dropping this year. So y'all make sure y'all stay tuned. Like, with that, is it just me? Or do you, can you see, like, the, the sounds that, can you see colors? I that? see, like, do you uh, see auras. Yeah. Yeah. I from, can, from their music, specifically. From that music, yeah. I can see that. I thought I was the only one. No, no, I see that. And sometimes yeah, I, I can see people, I thought it was just too hot, man. Like, sometimes I can see them in people, too. I mean, that sounds, like, very... Far-fetched to say oh, I can see your aura. I mean, it's not. It's like personality. Like you know, you mad, you can see red. You see yeah. when they happy, you can see like you know bright, fun colors. So that's how it really is. But yeah, with music, I definitely can see. I never. I, I, I don't know if people prefer it. I have like a music high when mm -hmm. I hear the music. Just like, yeah, oh, this is yeah. So great. Okay. Oh, I'm just, I'm Man, just tell me about that. Tell me about yeah, that. go ahead. Yeah, talk about that. Tell me about the a music high. Music high. I, I, I get amazing. those. Things. I love it. I love to hear a song. For the first time, and I get that music high, mm. but then it's just like I know it's not gonna be like the first time I heard that yeah. song. It ain't nothing like the first time. Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. Like with Sundress, when I heard it, I was oh. like, I do not want this song to end because I loved it. There's another song that Tame and Paula got with um, Theophilus London called um, Only You. Yeah. Like that is the same way. No, he's, he, he's a dope artist, yo. He can, I, yeah, he's he a dope London. He dope too. Yeah. He's, I just think he just ain't, you know, his overseas type. He's overseas. I mean, he he be in the states a lot. Yeah, but you know, he's like one of them people they mostly know from overseas and acts and stuff. But it's very that's man. It's like I don't know, man. That music, bro. Like when I first got put on Entertainment Power by my cousin Travis, man. Like that shit. That music made me like I don't know, like it just put me in a different vibe. I was like, it made me appreciate it. It really made me appreciate yeah. a lot more. You know what I'm saying? A lot more about life. Yeah. The sounds that I'm hearing. That's how you know You know what? I feel like I, I feel like that's how it is every time. I know y'all get tired of me talking about future, but for real though, every time future drops like a new album, it's like, bro, I get that music hot every single time. Yeah. It never fails, yeah. bro. It's just like 
even though he said he just stopped doing lean, but I, I get all the high, like just based off the vibe, bro. The vibe, the energy, the yeah. energy, and I, for real though. Especially I'm, when you I'm hear those big. like the the beat drop in the club or something. Absolutely, like, it's like a it's like a wave. It's yeah. a vibe. It's the whole vibe. That's that's how I always been. Anyway, I always been an energy person, a vibe a vibe person. I basically go off yeah. the vibe. That's what people say. They like what type of music? I'm like, man, of course I like hip hop and rap, yeah. like yeah. R&B. I'm black, but I just like I love sound. I like hip hop too. I, I will say this. I do have a few friends that's doing like hip hop right now. I have a friend. Um, Shout out to my nigga Marco Aristotle. Marco Aristotle. Shout out to my nigga Willie Hendricks. Willie Hendricks. Shout out to Top Brand. Top Brand. You feel me? Shout out to that nigga Hat, man. He Hat. just dropped an album today, man. Go on yeah. go, man. Shout out to my friend, my um, my homie Childish Major, too, by the yeah. way. Real Shout dope. Childish, man. Real, real, real dope artist, by the way. So y'all make sure y'all definitely. It's, it's, I, I, I think so. Music, so you're a big hip hop fan, right? Or, or just music, the music, music in general. Like, I, I, I got go through my phone, I got some more time days. I got, I got Beach Boys on my phone. Like, okay, you going there's no, you there's no, back. I got a lot of stuff. I got soundtrack from movies and stuff. Like, it's just, I like sound. I like, yeah. I like hearing, I like hearing like nice stuff. Yeah, it's me too. I'm the same way. Like I said, right now, I'm really rocking with that summer walk of wasted right now. That song just gives me so much. You about to die again? Mm -hmm. Oh, man. You got, you, you got your battery? Oh, yeah, you just better, don't you? What is this? Yeah, we, say, yeah, we got the same. Yeah, man, so that Summer Walker, how you feel about it, dude? That Summer Walker. I'm really walking with that Summer Walker right now, yo, for real. Like, the song Wasted just does something to me to the point where, not even just her, like, Frank Ocean. Like, mm. Frank I love Ocean is I, that guy. Yeah, man. I love music that can put me on a on, on, on a vibe that yeah. can just have me like, you know what I'm saying? Like, so I don't Frank, know. You like you listen to Frank Ocean? Frank Ocean? Yeah. Okay. Like, I'm, a big, I'm a big original Off Future fan, so. Yeah. Oh, so, so you post a feature? Man. No, Off Future. Off Future. Off Future. So you got time. I post a feature, of course. Oh, Off Future. Oh, oh, yeah, my I, bad. I, I, Tyler, exactly. the creator, the yeah. internet, all, all of them. I fuck Earl Sweatshirt. Hey, Earl Sweatshirt came up with it. Okay. Yeah. I Seriously. mean, I don't, I mean, yeah, I mean, so that's the thing, like, we probably got different type of taste. I like, no, if I'm not I'm listening, listening to my sister, like, sister, see, yeah, see, I, I fuck with SZA. But you know what? Too. I listen to SZA, um, the old SZA. Oh, like, I was on SZA, like, before, you feel me? Like, before she came up with this, with her new album and everything, like, really expressing her sexuality, her, like, what she's going through as a woman. Yeah. Like, I was a turd, like, that hippie shit, you yeah. feel I me? Mean? Like, you know what I'm talking about? And like, she had Kendrick on there, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, and then seeing her now, I'm like, I like that vibe. I just, Yo, she's so beautiful, by the way. She's I just didn't beautiful. know much about SZA, cause like the the other uh, album she had before, it was like, it was an image. I, I, it, it was not an image. I didn't know, like, cause you know, it's just like, I was like, okay, but I didn't really know the person. Yeah, it was like, I feel like her first album was more like on some like, it was like, like, I don't know, like. I feel like the reason why her first album probably didn't sell like any other, because like I said, it was a more under, underground. Under, story, yeah. More underground, yeah. and first of all, a lot of people didn't even know how she looked. By exactly, the way, yeah. yeah. So now that people know, I, I for think some reason, the whole the way of her she did a whole, and everything, a whole yeah. revamp her image. If y'all yeah. look at her breakfast, her very first Breakfast Club yeah. interview to her most recent one, you'll see like, oh, that's a big difference. Yeah. But she's still beautiful. Yeah. Always have been. Yeah. Always will be. Yeah, I think not having like a picture of a person kind of. Like, you, like yeah, she wasn't I mean, on that level to lock. I ain't gonna put yeah. a picture of myself yet. So, yeah. I'm just like, I feel like that kind of probably messed up. That's what, but you know what? I remember like the, the party next, the party next door. I never knew how they looked Same. or how he looked. I'm sorry. Or the weekend. I, first of all, I, when I first started listening to both, I thought it was a group because I never really had like a. Yeah. All right, yeah, I got a, I got a question for you, Cloud. Like, Party next door. No, my fault. The weekend now or the weekend for like House of Balloons? And for all sure. That? I'm fine with both. I, I don't. I, people talk. I'm fine. I'm honestly fine with both. Okay. Like okay. I like. I like it. It's, it's yeah. So you like the evolution of music, basically. I mean, you got Thriller Michael Jackson, and you got Bad Michael Jackson. Yeah. You got yeah. Invincible Michael Jackson. Yeah. The music. People gonna change who they are. Just like, are you like a real fan? Do you like really like their music? Yeah. I mean, people gonna debate. Okay, the most known person everybody be like changes is Kanye West. Mm -hmm. But this I is what you gotta. So you, so you acknowledge Kanye is like. He's a music like, no, he's a, like without him for like the past ten years, we would not have a lot of these sounds. No, you would not have no Travis Scott. You would not. Thank you. We have no Tyler Creator. No Drake. Come on. No Drake. Come on. Thank you. It's a it's a shout, out, shout out to Kid Cudi too. Kid Cudi, yeah. Kid Cudi, but here's the thing: it's just like you got to separate the art and the person. Yeah. So that's that's how it is. I mean, you got to separate art for a person. So. Yeah, that's yeah, that's the main thing though. That's the main thing. 
I actually Kanye West is my hometown, Chicago, and a lot of people be like, oh man, a lot of, I do know a lot of artists from Chicago be like, man, F Kanye, he ain't did nothing for the community. He ain't did nothing for a lot of us in our careers. Yeah. Like, no, honestly, people, honestly, Kanye, if he put you on a song, your career is like skyrocketing. I know because he did it. because he did he did get on that Chief Keith um not even the Chief my fault not cut you off. Not the Chief Keith thing, the was it the, the Millie, the Wahim Millie dude? Something oh. the murder on my mind. Oh, yeah. I didn't know who he was to Kanye West got a song. Yeah. I ain't know oh. I mean I ain't like a you know what? I ain't like laughing him, but like Yo, you heard that song? I heard the murder it. on my mind. Yeah. And then him yeah. getting indicted for those charges, I'm like, damn. Yeah. It's that crazy. song that's was descriptive how... as fuck, bro. So, so, what, so, how, what, what y'all think about um, that? Y'all, y'all, I didn't. Know, I mean, it's it, it just like, uh, like no the problem. Bobby Smurda effect. It's like, damn man, y'all no just, comment. just chill out. Y'all telling yeah. all y'all business. But that's the thing, though. I can't wait till there's a point in time in hip hop where we're not rapping about killing, where we're not rapping about having yeah, a party. I, I, I feel like, I feel like, but you got to think about Twenty One Savage is the same thing. But they talking about his life. He's talking about what he went through. But that's the thing, though. That's the thing. There's a difference between actually. I'm from Chicago. You know, I, I got some. I got there's some for you. There's a difference between actually have been through something and seeing about it, and yeah. actually seeing no, rapping rap about I got something. Some before you. I got something and they before already you. have murder on your mind. Like, I got something for you right, right here. Like, right so here. the government, police, everybody, they try to pinpoint hip hop, right? Oh, hip hop is the cause of a lot of these murders, but no one ever talks about hardcore. Uh, rock like Marilyn Manson, all these motherfuckers exposed and like, and all that. like sick ass shit, bro. But they want to come. That's not what us. sells. We gotta not, no, 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 I'm saying, I'm, what but sells. I'm saying like the the government will try to play a, a, a put a blame on hip hop, saying hip hop is the cause of destruction and violence. When really you have other genres of music that are still implementing sick ass that's the, violent. That's the thing. That, that's, what, that's what Ice Cube said when yeah. they were early NWA days. It's like. Have you listened to some of like this hardcore ass rock? I'm talking about like I hardcore know, rug that's shit. That's not like, really my. Yeah. That's not really my thing. Yeah, I'm, I'm saying. But, 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 when, but when you, but I'm saying, but when you listen to something like that, that triggers something in your mind. Like I don't know, but how the listeners do it. But I know when I listen to it, that shit. Like what the. But fuck? I ain't gonna lie though. Mu- mu- like I said, music is its own language. Music is a universal music language, is, so it's gonna touch you. It's gonna yeah. like for real though. I listen to. I listen to different people when I want to be in different vibes. Yeah. If I want to be in my bag, I'm gonna go ahead and turn to some future. You feel me? So future's just your goddamn artist, cause you all. This, 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 I'm this, this, future. Everybody this ain't, this ain't the only episode that you bring yes, up future. Yeah, I bring up future, future every time because we need to get like future I, on the show. I ain't gonna lie. Yeah. I used to before. Yeah. I used to get future and two chains messed up because I didn't yeah. know who was who. Oh man! I, at first, I didn't they know who was who. I thought you was gonna say this. It wasn't a different. It was just a look image. I was like, okay. Tall dark skin dude with dread. Like I just oh, like okay. No. I didn't know. It took me a minute. I ain't gonna lie. It took me a minute. I was like, you heard they that? Look, they look well, I mean, you know how they look similar. Just like I was just profiling them wrong. Like stereotypical. Like what well, I do? Like black dude with dread. Well, look, we, we, yeah. So we talking about future, right? So we so we talking about future. Yeah. Okay. Now, now this is how I feel, man. And this is just how I feel. So look. You got a future from like True Story. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? You got you got Pluto. You got that future, right? And then you got this future March Madness. You know what I'm saying? Fifty six Purple Rain. rain dirty Purple dirty. Rain. Yeah. Dirty. So look, yeah, yeah, yeah. but guess what? But guess what? <laughs> what? What was going around in his circle at that moment? He was having a breakup with Sierra. So my thing is, my question leading into this. That's crazy. Do you? Hmm. I don't know. Do you want to thank Sierra? Do you want to thank Sierra for this? All right. Look, you, no, no. Ooh. Think about it. Think about it. Do you no. want to thank Sierra no, for no, what no, no. Future no. became with Absolutely Monster? Absolutely not. No, no, no. And let me tell you, it, it, no, no. I'm, I'm so glad that we're having this conversation right now because first think of about all, it. think about it. And first of all, Sierra, no, 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 Sierra no. has always been my idol. No, 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 no. Look, I'm, I'm saying, I'm saying, like, not. I'm not saying attacking Sierra, but I'm saying thanking thank her, like, no, no, yo, no, without, thank without, you without her, her without her, Monster, without her. And future like going through that, will we will we ever see a Fifty Six Nights, a Monster, Purple Rain? Will we ever see that? First of all, I could have like, sworn that that future was already recording that Fifty Six Nights before the year broke up. You just saying as an inspiration thing, or just yeah, as, like, like yeah. nobody would know who you was? No, 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 like, no, like an inspiration, like oh, because oh, we oh, we oh, saw oh, like a dip. We did see, we did see a monster of future. But you gotta the, think, lyric. you gotta think. You gotta think though, because I will say that Sierra is one of my favorite artists. Everybody already know I love Sierra. Been loving her forever. She's my favorite lover, 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 lover. Yeah, that's all fine and dandy. Okay, everyone knows that's that. All, okay, let, let me get to the point. Let me get to the point here. 
No, Sierra, we cannot give Sierra credit for a monster. We cannot, first of all, if we're gonna give Sierra any type of credit, we gotta that situation, credit. We gotta, we gotta, we gotta, that situation. Gotta, no, no, because first of all, Future wasn't really being himself when he was with Sierra. You gotta think about that too at the same but time. He, but he spoke he's about that. He spoke about it, but they, yeah. but we got we probably gotta thank Future for having the courage to, you know what I'm saying, go back to himself after separating with Sierra. However, he was already his own person before Sierra. No, he so, was. He and was. he became he was. someone that he he became someone new with her, meaning that he dropped the trophy. He That's dropped right. the turn off the light, yeah, the yeah. slow songs, you know what I'm saying? That wasn't him. Like, but he was well, he going to have to do that though. He, he showed, was going to have to he, 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 but, he showed that, he that's why y'all talk about Tommy. She, she didn't have like no Karuchi over Chris Brown effect thing. Yeah, yeah, that was that was that yeah. was something. It's like you know Karuchi like a very I mean, I know that's a different whole relationship. I'm just saying yeah. but, I, 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 but, but me but me personally I just felt like them breaking up and them going through that situation, I think that caused future to like like snap. I was thinking just like, woke him back up. That's it. Yeah, woke the monster. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Like, so we would have been a monster. And he always been, but sometimes the monster can be sleep. You feel I what I'm saying? I just feel like this. I just feel like I mean, I don't think the breakup really just made him like nah. Man, I monster. think so, man. I, I think, think that, think, think that breakup really think, turned think, another no, side. No, like, man, what the fuck I was think, I thinking? I think bro? the breakup was like, man, it was like a wake up call. Like, damn, my goofy ass changed for a whole other human being. Hold on, time out. Let me get back to myself. Yeah. And he went back to himself. That's all I think yeah. it was. So he, the monster, you know. All so that I, shit I'm that. just saying, I don't feel like I don't feel I, like I, I just, say, I, I thank just, you, Sierra, for breaking up the future and, and creating this yeah. dope ass monster. I, no, no, I'm just no, saying, no, like the breakup. I, I definitely don't say that. I just say he woke up and he was just like, all right, man, I was, I was tweaking. Yeah, yeah. I, I, def I definitely just say like on the on the point of that breakup, that relationship caused like. Had some help with those with those mixes. Yeah, he was. Yeah, that, that, that's what I'm saying. That's what I'm getting to. That's the, only I'm why, the only reason why I get mad, the only reason why I'm so defensive on that because everybody be like, oh, Future only made these albums because he. No, nah, hell no, nah, hell no. Nah. Nah, he, nah, nah, he, he, he already had the shit. He already Russell had. Russell Wilson is. Nah, uh, hell no. Nah. Like I hate that. Nah. Like, nah, I get real mad. I'm going to be the. I'm going to be those little trolls that be commenting on the same room. Oh no, don't be a troll. Shay room, Shay room, Shay room have bought me. They, they got, they got nothing for me. Shay room bought you. Yeah, yeah. Tell me the oh, story, man. man. Oh, oh, I got to hear that shit. X had just died. I was never big at fame. I ain't gonna lie. Um, oh, something my ex. Uh, yeah, yeah. Okay. So, um, uh, a homie out in Florida, she had put me on X again. I was just like, okay, that's cool. I only got, at the time I only like one star, I mean one song from that, so I was looking at the star, looking for a star and um, don't want to do this anymore. Yeah. And you know, I just never really cared, but I knew how they was, I knew how Shay Room was attacking this man and stuff and everything. And the day he died, they posted his stuff. And I said, y'all the most fakest blog site ever. Yeah. I know I know y'all gotta do y'all job, but oh my God, this is horrible. Everybody knows that y'all was shading the mess out of this man. Mm -hmm. yeah. Like he would get his hair cut, you guys would, do a reference pictures of another picture. Like other blog sites would do it, but everybody knows Shay Room was the number one. Yeah, they're like the known story. like, come yeah. on, bro, y'all fake, man. And then they wanted to post like, say, okay, they had this video of him being shot. I'm like, damn, bro, y'all might want to take that down. I understand what y'all doing, but don't do all that. Don't do that. That's ridiculous. Yeah. That's taking away from the fact that this so video is blocked you. They, 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 what, blocked, what got me blocked was they had posted another video of him saying some inspirational stuff. Yeah. And everybody was saying, y'all are fake. Yeah, and they block every single body that says something Damn, about him. That's yeah. crazy. I was like, wow, and it was just crazy. I like, I mean, I understand y'all got an image, but it's just yeah. that was. That's ridiculous. Now you play with somebody, a whole human being at this point. Yeah, mm -hmm. I mean, but you know, it's it's media, everybody. Yeah, yeah, media, media, it's, man. Sometimes media, media, media is so crucial, man. I'm I saying, just feel like, man. It's just like if the media. Shout, can't, shout out to the real media outlets. But think there, about you know, it, giving can, the real can, truth, everything. Can y'all name a few? Can y'all name some real media? Because I think I don't. I don't it's not really a lot. I think Nar Narwar is the only real media I know. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like, <laughs> he's yeah. no. Nar I'm sorry. That's probably like the Narwar comes at you at the most. Like he just he, he's he's coming at like you. Like how man. you came here earlier. I was like, hey, look, that's some Narwar stuff right there. Like that's the yeah. only real. Like, I, mean, those I ain't dissing right? yeah, 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 yeah. nobody else because I still don't know much. But like that's probably the only real is interviewer type. Not not talking about y'all. I'm just saying like. <laughs> That's probably the only. I would say Rob Markman. Like man, yeah, that's yeah, Rob too. Markman, uh, B. Dot Elliot Wilson, like, like, I like, definitely rock with B. like, like they definitely. Oh, shout out to Nori and Arden, man. They, oh, they yeah, definitely, yeah. they cast. definitely, yeah, they definitely give it to you, sure. man. They definitely give it to you. Yeah, just yeah. like those. Like, I'm those not, real. I, I was definitely rocking with Combat Jack, but though, rest R. I. P. To yeah, Combat man. Jack. Though. Let's, that, let's that give a moment of silence, is, man. Sure. Let's give a moment of silence. Yeah, man. I got to me out with that. Who that?
I know this. What were you oh, saying? So combat, combat Jack. Combat Jack. So like he, dope ass podcast. So like Tia was really big. Tia was really big on his podcast. You feel me? She put me on his podcast. So like he's like, well, you could you, you could talk about it. Yeah, yeah. Oh, uh, Combat Jack. Talk okay, so um, I was talk, I was working at a, at a law firm at the time, so I used to always like listen. So to you work for the feds. Oh no, I was on private prosecution. Oh, okay, okay. Oh, okay. I and patents and all that. I just had a chip. Um. But, and so, and to get through the day, I used to listen to podcasts or yeah. whatever, because it's always my type of thing anyway. Um, so I used to listen to, like, Combat Jack, and he was, like, a, um, he was a lawyer previously. But I just feel like he always had, like, real conversations. A lot of people will, will always come to, come to do interviews with him and just be themselves. There was never really no, no negative drama type so, podcast was this like before the big social media days or just no this started? is recent I, I, uh, uh this is recent like maybe a year or two ago i think combat combat jack passed away maybe a year ago yeah i want to say i want to say um so this is all recent and it was like he wasn't really promoting drama gossip anything he'll he just gave it raw it was raw and he'll bring yeah, people yeah, up there to yeah. tell inspirational stories and all type of stuff it just used to give me inspiration give me through my day Get me through working for a company, you know, and damn well, I want to do some entrepreneurial ass shit. Like, yeah. it was just a Man, real fuck working for another person, It's probably right? just two interviews. Damn, so I'm I'm sorry. Sorry. I'll, be, I'll be just young. I'm saying, I'm shit, I understand man. that. No, it's, two, yeah. it's probably two interviews, so I know I probably would not do good up with. It's Charlamagne and Ebro. Yo, so probably two. Yo, no, like, Ebro, probably no, two no, people I could not do man. interviews with. And, like, you I see that do, Kodak one? Yeah, I'd rather do an interview with Charlamagne and Ebro. Like, I'm sorry, I just... I, no. I mean, it's just yeah, Ebro make you man. Wanna... Fuck that, man. Hey, Ebro come in. He just wants some. That. He, he no, say man. some shit like Kodak White. Like, yeah, I seen why, that why shit. Why the fuck would you ask? Why yeah, the fuck would you ask me some questions like that? He like, man, you can. I can do the fuck I want on my show. Because you gotta oh, think though, you gotta think Ebro been in the game for a real, real long time. So but I feel like he wanted the old heads though. I feel like he wanted the old heads, man. Like no disrespect, he 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 did what he had to do. He he had he had the platform. You know what I'm saying? He got it. He got his stuff, but I just feel like he just one of them old heads because Charlemagne, Charlemagne asked you certain things, but you kind of laugh. Yeah, like, see, that's you know what I just, I just be intimidated. Charlemagne, yeah. not know who he is, and I, I used to watch. But Charlemagne still, stuff. but yeah. he was still get you. But. Charlemagne put you on though. Yeah, you feel me? Yeah, yeah. Charlemagne will put you on because like he'll he'll say those things, but actually it's just how you look at how it. You look at but it. like well, the way Ebro come at you, like why would you come at Kodak like that, man? He come like, at you like he already know. Like he already know. Come on, man. Like he already know. He already got prejudged. We don't we don't we don't do that at free game radio. We don't podcast, do that. Man, We're trying to inspire. Like, it's all about the conversation. We want to make you feel comfortable. Absolutely. I appreciate it, man. You got any secrets? Let it out here, let it out. man. You know what I'm saying? Whatever. You got you feel something me? that like, you want to promote? Be cool. We got the Bombay. You feel me? Like like we 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 we. We make you feel comfortable. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. So I'm not all into that all that extra gossip. Like who you sleeping with? Wow. You know what yeah, I'm saying. Yeah. But that's but, what but, I, but I, you I, could. But you could. Like if you if, if you, you smash one of the Kardashians, you could let me know. I mean, I'll, I I would. Oh, okay, but okay. It, it, <laughs> I, 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 ain't, I ain't out here like I ain't Jordan Woods. I ain't got no contract side where I can say all this. Like, oh yeah, I, I yeah. Can say what's that non disclosure agreement? Yeah, no, I didn't know that was a thing. I was like. You have a relationship with somebody you, to the point where you got to sign a contract? Are you yeah. serious? Like, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. It's, it's more business than Christian. Than, like, yeah. but I, mean, I, I understand, though. No, it may be crazy, but Christian is literally one of the best managers in the world. Yeah, she I is. mean, you can't say anything about yeah. you know her client, but Christian, she she's smart. I'm sorry. She, I'm she, she, how much is, how much does she charge? Because she, she could be my she manager. She's my manager, too. I mean, but she, I mean, she, she knows she, what to do. I mean, she kind of ain't Chris Jenner, holla at us, man. Yeah, holla at yeah, holla, man. Mm-hmm. Clients, I mean, I can't speak for a client, but I know she, they ain't thinking no kind of legal action. Yeah. Because Chris going, nope, that's a wrap. Chris got everybody paycheck in Cali. Yeah. Like, nah. She she got that on the rap, so yeah. I give her a prop, you know, female out here working and stuff. Thank you. I really I really fucks with you. I'm always <laughs> shouting out females. Yes, because we do hold a lot of weight in the world. But a lot of times yeah, we yeah, don't get a look, 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 I feel like you guys like We you do. I'm just saying a lot of times I feel like females, we don't get man. enough recognition, you know what I'm saying? Uh, I mean, man. And shout like, to Cardi B. Oh, shout out to Cardi B. She just had the the, the, the record oh, yeah, of the, the rodeo. With the rodeo. The rodeo. Yeah. Yeah. Number one. The Houston uh, Cowboy Rodeo shit, yeah. yes. number I one. Party, you feel me? I ain't gonna lie. Shorty from all the way from New York. What? What's she from? Is she from Brooklyn or she from Brooklyn? Brooklyn. Okay, okay. We got something in Brooklyn. I ain't gonna lie. I really yeah. thought I thought Cardi was gonna be one hit wonder. I was telling this girl at the time who I was dating. I was like, because she kept playing on um, the song with her and Quavo. Yeah, I'm not Quavo. My fault. My, my bad, Quavo. I'm sorry. Offset. <laughs> she kept you. playing the song with him, and I was oh. like. She gonna be one hit one. Then she did Bodak Yellow. I'm like, bro, she biting Kodak, man. Like, man, Bodak Yellow really like. 
A lot that, of people, that was a the lot one, of people, bro. That was my girl. Right. That was the one, bro. And she she had, I doubt she it. I doubt it. I mean, Cardi. Yeah, she had to. I she mean, had, she. she had, hey, man, she but had I ain't gonna lie. Shout out to her publicists and people behind her. Because, like, shout out to Offset, too, man. Offset. That's really like, she, got, she got a crazy team. I think she was winning before she got with Offset. You feel me? I just feel like Offset was just. Exactly. Like, but you gotta think, Cardi did a lot more. Yeah, Offset. She had, she but Cardi actually shouted out Offset and said she helped him. She helped her. What am I saying? He, 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 he helped her. He helped her. Yeah, my the fault. Yeah, my fault. Okay. He helped her okay. get, like, you know what I'm saying? The publishing right, yeah. like the advertising right, like making sure she can get the masses, like like all those type of things. So man, shout out to Basically, Austin, she man. just did what Jocelyn can do. Yeah, what Jocelyn was trying but that, to do. Oh, shit. Shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. But, but like you gotta think, you better speak that, on that, I'm just saying, like, if y'all seen the early Love and Hip Hop episode, yeah, yeah. y'all know that that's what that's the same that, type of stuff Jocelyn was trying to do. I was thinking that I was like love and hip hop, they were trying so, to do. Hold on, hold on, hold on. So shout out to Jocelyn because she paved the way. If you think, yeah, if you think she that, did. She, she did like the, she like, she like the, she like the soldier boy of um, <laughs> oh, um love shit. Him out. like yeah, she like okay, she kind of she, 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 she probably ain't nobody probably gonna say I know people don't say that, but I know she that. paved I the way. Because I'm like, yeah. hey, Jocelyn tried to do the same thing. Yeah. She paved the way, bro. Yeah, Jocelyn tried to do the same thing. Yeah, shout to man. Shout to Jocelyn. 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 Shout to Thing. Nah, Mama D's the only the only love hip hop star I don't see in person. Really? Oh yeah. man, I'll be in a love see that's yeah, that the thing. I'll be in yeah. love hip hop. I'll be in that scene all all the time. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. that's kinda like I and it, it is no shade thing. It's just like it's just little stuff I know. I've been watching episodes, and she used to do yeah. all the stuff yeah. that Cardi yeah. doing. Yeah. Cardi. So I feel like she probably paid, paid the way. Way. But she, yeah. I, don't, I don't know how they. I don't know if anybody addressed that yet. We addressed it now. We need to address it here on Free Game Radio. Really I, I, I think we addressed it. I think she paved the way. I think that's. I really would say. I think she did, man. But you right though. And then you know, not even that. All the other little stars before Cardi on Love Me Hip Hop. Miami and Atlanta, New yeah, York, was trying yeah. to do the same thing. Yeah, K. Yeah. Michelle is probably the only one that got the biggest before yeah. Cardi was K. Michelle. Then now you got and be, Cardi. And before K. Michelle, it was Olivia. Y'all remember Olivia? She was trying to be like come on, the, come on, come on. Uh, the G on the G on the Olivia. Oh yeah, I think she's still old yeah. money, bro. So we. What? Yeah. Oh, you don't. Oh, you don't know, huh? Man, everybody. Okay. I, I ain't trying to get up in the gossip. Yeah, shit, Olivia, we want to do that rah rah. Nah, that's what I heard. G. That's what I heard. I don't know. But. Cloud man, art man. We I, I feel like we we touched on a lot of subjects. You know, music or you know, you being you, your art. I do wanna so like, let the like, world know how old are you? Uh, old I just you? turned twenty five. Um, January twentieth. I'm okay. Aquarius. Okay. Um, so you believe in the signs and all that? I got a tag on me. Yeah, tell so me. So it's me. like, I guess. I mean, I I represent zodiac and all that. I haven't really felt no, but I just know I can't date Libras. Cause oh. like that's not a thing for me. I dated three Libras, so sorry to all my Libras, and they just nah, they all different experiences. So I just know for sure that can't happen. Okay. And um, but I mean, yeah, I'm cool with all the whole um thing with Zodiac, so okay. showing me behind and everything, the meanings and stuff. You yeah. know, looking at your life yeah. charts and all that is. Okay. So so I, okay so so she believes in Zodiac signs and all that. We see that you got an unk around you. Oh yeah. Head. So you believe in fucking with it. Um, yeah, people, I mean, I, sort. yeah, I see I, more of, I believe in I see more of, of course, more of a spiritual thing than yeah. religion. Yeah, definitely. Thing, because a lot of people think it's religion. It's like, oh, religion I remember, is, I, I've had people ask me, like, do you believe in Jesus and God? I'm just I like, believe in spirituality. Yeah, I mean, spirituality. Yeah. I, remember, I remember energy. Like, I can put positive energy on you and you feel like you, the what, you the greatest person in the world. Yeah. You know, that's all of attraction. The lo- that's all of attraction, yeah. yeah. So I believe in that more. Yeah. And then, you know, that's like true. put negative energy on a person, they gonna feel negative and stuff. So like, I, I believe in message way more. Message, we always give out little so messages, man. So make so, sure man, you we, giving out good energy. Yeah, man, we 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 coming to the end of the show, man. I I, I want to have you on here again. Yeah, of course. Because I, I feel yeah. like you are free game, stamped. You feel me? You are Definitely. here. You feel me? You can always come back. You are family. You feel me? So you, are. you know, before we go, what is your free game message to the world? Like, what 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 can what can you say to the world that's gonna benefit them? You know, I feel like I think I probably said some stuff already, and now I think um, it's gonna benefit them. Yeah, or help them in some oh, type of oh, way. Oh 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 oh! What what? Or even happen with you that you that that you, like, that you think about? How about we go deep? Okay. Yeah. Uh, 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 
uh, you know the way the world nowadays i feel like everybody going through something everybody just dealing with yeah of course any type of life so issue. what's your message what is your message how do you feel free you need to get up every single day and get up and do what always, you want to do it's always somebody out here who wish was in your position say Everybody. it again like it's always somebody out there i mean it I could tell myself that, but it's just true. It's always somebody out there wishing in your position. Like with my heart, I'd be saying, oh gosh, that's horrible. Like I said, people be DMing me. They'd be like, man, this is fine. Mm -hmm. I wish I could do this. You already did your show and stuff. Like, how did you do this? So I gotta keep telling myself that. It's hard sometimes, because y'all wake up, yeah. everybody deal with their own problems, depression yeah, and absolutely. stuff. So it's like, yeah. gotta be like, it's always somebody who wishes in position. Cause you know, you drive around here, you see homeless people out here. Absolutely. There's homeless people outside yeah. right now, it's raining right now. and stuff. So it's yeah. like, you know, be like, be thankful. Man, man. Be thankful. And you gotta think it's, it's not. You gotta think you're not the only one out here who got problems. Yeah, Absolutely. everybody got. Everybody got problems. That's really, that's really yeah. true. I really hope. Said it again. You are not the only, only one. Said it again. You're not the only, only one, one out here. <laughs> you're not the only one out here with problems. So you know, people got passive bills. People got, yeah. you know, they phone off. Or okay. People yeah. only got like negative three hundred in their bank account. Mm. I mean, man, it was it was it, it was definitely like from seeing you, meeting you in first uh, at your event and getting to speak. You, speak to you in like such a like personal level Absolutely. man it was definitely a great feeling to have you here a great time to have you here really man like i want to make sure like everybody knows who you are so who are you instagram i uh, everything yeah um, how can people connect with you my um again my name is Ebrion barrett yeah by for some people 478 um by wacky okay and um now cloud is the thing yeah you know, just keep it short cloud okay yeah but um my instagram is at cloud, I can spell it just in case, not trying to call people dumb. Yeah. But C L O U D and X Cruiser C R U I S E R. Yeah. And that's like my main social media site. Yeah. My, a lot of people want to start with me to brush the other stuff. My mom posts a lot of my stuff on Facebook. Okay. You, so do you have like a website? I have no website. Like I said, I'm like I was telling you earlier, I, I got a lot of stuff that people would think mm -hmm. that you know, you, you got all this. I'm like, no, I really have like these little small tools that I'm still using to still okay. promote myself. It's just like I ain't really been in a rush to make other yeah, stuff. Like yeah. I just deleted my Snapchat and I deleted my Twitter. Snapchat too I, personal, bro. I don't need that. I just feel, I feel like, like it's so personal. I just feel like Instagram is really it. It is, man. You can Instagram is it. Is. It's it's really just, like, I got Instagram, you need, bro. Like, do I really need a website so I can post the same? But I know people like to feel like they. But they, they really have that. Because, like you said, the too. follower, the follower thing, get people to tell off. He got. 30k followers yeah. need to respond yeah. fast at DM. Yeah. yeah. So just like, you know, I understand I got, I got especially the way I'm going, I got to have a website. Right. So I need right. to make a website. And yeah. I definitely got to change my email because I got my personal email, a lot of my art email. So sometimes I don't be, okay. really checking, be like, I be checking, but sometimes I be like, oh, I didn't get a message and I scroll down three times. Like, oh, they did send a message. Right. Man, so man. I got to so, definitely to switch that up. So man, we, we got the free game message, man. We, yeah. we, we good, we got you, man. Yeah. Free yeah. game stamp. Free you game feel me? stamp. Poppy Don. You got TG right TNG here. My boy Cloud, man. It was it was it was a great conversation. We I feel like we got to yeah, I, I mean, like I told her, I was like, definitely, we could do a um, end of the year recap close to yeah. the end of the year. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Just see how far I came. Cause it's the early in the year, just yeah. in March. Yeah, Friday, definitely. So. And, 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 so and he, 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 my man on the deal, man. He'll, he'll do art, man. He charged, man. Pay the artists, you feel me? Support black business. Support the artists, you feel me? And and, 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 and yeah. that's that's what it is, people. So look, man, look. More life, man. More blessings, more success. Stay strong. We out here. Yeah. It's another episode. We're gonna keep going, man. Let's get yeah. it. Let's get it. <laughs> man. I'm the best ever. I'm the most brutal and vicious and most ruthless champion there's ever been. No one can stop me. I'm the best ever. You are watching a master at work.